seer's point of view. Oh, this is Ray's, I think. <laughs> shush, shush. Okay, I, I, that's right. I gotta, I gotta do the voice acting. So we only managed to capture three demon hearts, and two of them are still desperately attempting to escape. Well, at least the third one is well adjusted. Those disobedient girls are trying to ruin all of our fun, aren't they, Esmus? You bore me. What? There's a voice! <laughs> this is all your fault for finding such pathetic demon heart trumpets. Could you not have captured some braver ones? Although I admit, watching their petty struggles is more fun than the suffering of another so-called person I've been observing. How typical. Leave it all on me. Did you help me in the search at all? Why would I? Don't try to twist the terms of our contract. All of this work is yours to do. Complete it to my satisfaction and you'll receive your wretched reward. I am not your ally. Remember this, Raze. Or what was that other name they called you? Sounds like it was based on mine. <laughs> Thinking about it, if your powers of seduction were any less pathetic, these females wouldn't be running from you in terror. Don't you think that is distasteful? Implying that they'd be happy to stay and be hunted down if only I were attractive enough? <laughs> hey, Trevor. Their lives are in danger for father's sake. How foolish would they need to be to lust after me in such a predicament? Excuses. One of our kind should be the most fascinating sight in that decrepit little village. And what have you achieved? These humans would rather sift through rotting wood and crawl into filthy caves. Anything to avoid you. This is merely another proof of your inferiority. At least I don't keep them frozen in a gallery. What was that? Um, nothing. Master. Think again. <laughs> These random voice voices. Hold on. I, I gotta turn the voices off. <laughs> Clearly they've added some voices. Think again. Your power of allure is so petty. How do you intend to keep your prize? Mock me all you want. Your dubious deal is the only reason I'm reason I'm torturing these pathetic souls, yet you speak so lowly of my prize that I wonder if I should simply resign. No, I don't like the game steal on my thunder. You're absolutely right. <laughs> now, now, which one of us is the expert in lying and detecting lies, Raze? Don't insult my intelligence. Thankfully, his presence is gone. I must take care not to speak out loud. How inconvenient. Esmeus is a creature I would rather not deal with. These bleeding mortals are only half of his amusement. The other half is insulting me and watching me struggle not to respond in kind. <sighs> Nothing is worth losing my prize. Humans are transient beings. After all these years, I do not understand how my infernal kindred can enjoy these fleeting relationships. As my cats perished of old age, I was able to endure the loss by obtaining new ones, but I cannot bring myself to do the same with humans. I've only had one that I called mine, and I would not be able to endure another loss. What? <laughs> what? I get to choose his stuff? Okay, I was at her beck and call, giving my everything to please her, but she preferred the company of women. No, I don't think that was it. She must have despised my disgraceful infernal features because she left me for a brainless human brute! Yes, that was the one! That was brash! Uh, she was mine alone, but as much as we both fought destiny, she was mortal and had to die, okay? That's if you, you romance raise. Um, I grew to love her, but she betrayed me and left me in torment, and all to take care of a spoiled demonic brat. Okay, so these are all the um, the endings from the first Demon Heart, and yes, the first um, MC was I didn't get to name her. It was her. She was bright. She was her own character and everything. So, um, 
Uh, let's see. She must have despised my disgraceful infernal features because she left me for a brainless human brute. Okay, at that one, because I know I'm always choosing Brad. The memory of Bright still feels like a dagger in my chest. I suppose our hearts can feel, whether they are black or not. <laughs> there is none to put them in a crock pot. Oh my god. Okay, day three. Okay, day- uh, got it, got it. Okay, so we should have stopped after that little thing last time, but that's okay. I wake up holding out an empty hand. Vita? She's not in bed beside me, nor anywhere else in the room. How long have I been alone? It feels like only seconds ago we were sharing this bed and our troubles. It's easy to lose track of time in this cursed prison. I feel lost as I stand up to stretch, gazing aimlessly at the bare walls. There are no decorations in this room, save for some knife carvings on the ceiling. I don't believe I've been asleep for very long, and some sunlight streams in through the windows. Maybe the first light of dawn. My gaze is drawn to a piece of fabric lying on the floor. It's the cloth Jania used to wrap those cookies last night. The rest of the cookies that I put aside are gone. Did Vita change her mind about them? I collect myself and prepare to go outside. Um, it, well, it was Rizlin and uh, Vita, but she's, she's gone. Nothing happened. They just slept in the same bed. And I, clearly they were holding hands, I guess. I think. The air is cold and the ground feels frozen. Dawn has brought a silvery mist mixed with strange particles of dust. Every door that remains intact is firmly closed. There is no one in sight, no sign of life. As I walk, I spot something in the dirt. A pile of gray dust lies an abandoned set of armor and clothing. A leather armor torn down the middle and covered in dust. It looks very much like Vita's. I kneel and run my fingers over the leather, sending particles of ash into the air. The longer I stare, the more certain I become. This is Vita's armor. Why is it lying discarded on the ground? And why are her clothes here as well? I can almost envision her standing right in front of me. I've grown so used to her company and now... Could it be? In a swirl of thoughts, a sense of emptiness takes over me. I'm so confused, yet I feel like I know what happened. She's dead, isn't she? Well, no, she didn't spontaneously combust. I, somebody, I think somebody killed her. One, remember, they basically put all of these these people, these players, into this into this game for seven days, and the the bad guy just wants to watch them turn on each other and start bring each other for entertainment of course and um it looks like the first one's already gone i attempt to speak but the words are stuck in my mouth or my throat one of our companions has been murdered demon heart human being tears begin to stream down my face this must be a nightmare that someone was capable of going behind our backs and doing this it can't be real I attempt to reassure myself, but no matter how hard I try to deny it, the truth is in front of me. Vita was here, inside this armor, and now she's gone. <laughs> the, Rizlin's, like, draw, you know, mouth, like, dropped or being hung, hanging open. It, it, it doesn't look very gaspy to me. All right, my sweet Vita, you're not dead, are you? Please, no, no. I should have protected you. You were so kind, yet so fragile, and I didn't even notice. I'm sorry. You were a thorn in my side, but I've grown fond of you. You can't leave me behind. If they got you, it's only a matter of time before they come for me as well. No, I'm next. This is definitely it. Um, but I think you were a thorn in my side, but I've grown fond of you. You can't leave me behind. Okay, that's fine. As I kneel before Vita's remains, I notice a shadowy form slinking closer. I have no idea when he arrived or how long he's been watching me. I struggle to focus and 
Finally, I recognize the man by his dark purple suit. I wet my tears as he draws near. When I lower my hands, I find myself staring into the eyes of a crouching Kaiser. Birdie, what's that? Why are you in my face? Stay away from me, Kaiser. <laughs> no, I know which one I'm going with. Definitely this one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Look, if I'm gonna be able to kiss anybody, I gotta start romancing this guy. What are you doing on the ground? Oh, wait. Did someone die? Why would you say that? No, it can't be. Oh, yes. Yes. You know what, too, right? <laughs> Why this guy? <laughs> because I like this gum bags. Come on. Do you, you, have you guys not met me? <laughs> You'd rather kiss a toilet? Okay, James. Kaiser scoops some of the dust from the armor and rubs it between his fingers. Ash. This is what happens to the body when you destroy one of those demonic hearts. Whoever killed that poor bitch knew exactly what they were doing. I bet they ate it. He spoke those words so calmly that there is a heart eater among us. Okay, hold on. This music is way too loud. I, I don't mind the music, but oh my god. There we go. spoke those words so calmly, there is a heart eater among us. When it started, how the hell did you allow this? Well, what do you mean? I don't know. She just peered on me. Why didn't you watch over her if you were so much better qualified? I don't know. I think it's this one. Never mind. It was to be expected. Well, we've lost a friend, but don't be so down. I'll be your teammate from now on. I'm entirely free and friendless. Just as ever. How can he make light of the situation while we're kneeling over Vita's remains? No, you can't be my teammate with that attitude. I had one earlier, but just one. Because if I take more than one, then I'm not going to be able to, uh, to, to uh, read. It was you. You murdered her. I'm sorry, but I need to be alone. <laughs> Cling to him. God. I gotta do it. <laughs> I gotta do it. <laughs> no, don't sit. Oh my god, me. It's gotta happen. <laughs> okay. Kaiser's leather vest is as cold as this forsaken, this forsaken dawn. But <laughs> stop. But <laughs> oh god, I can't. I can't stop laughing. And but nestling my head against his neck, I feel a trace of his warmth. He slowly wraps an arm around my waist. I feel his hot breath as he whispers in my ear. <laughs> no! Okay, this is kind of you. I agree with you, BB Ted. It is kind of you. <laughs> That's right, Rizlin. Together we'll. His words escape me mind is too consumed by the dark sight laid before us. Vito was a demon heart, like me. And now? Is this all that's left of her? I stare at the remains numbly. I tear at the front of the armor. It looks as if someone stabbed her in the chest. Did someone happen to... Did something happen to Rizlin? Why are you cradling her in your arms? Because I can... Who the hell invited you? Kaiser assists me as I rise to my feet, his half-gloved hands holding onto me until I pull away and look over at Jania. I don't have the energy to explain what he, we discovered. So much ash! Did someone burn to death? Have you, by any chance, burned Vita to a crisp? I would never! Wait! Vita was set on fire. Why did the armor not burn down? Of course. They look different when you incinerate them. The only 
only thing I incinerate is dinner, you fiend. Ah, yes. Like those charred love cookies you left for the fated minstrel. <sighs> then Vita was one of them. It's all true. There are demon hearts among us, and there is a hunter. Someone ate Vita's heart. Otherwise, this would be impossible. Jinnia's words sent a shiver down my spine. It's more accurate to say the heart was destroyed. How? We don't know. If the killer was a self-proclaimed hero, they might have burned the heart instead of eating it. Amidst my racing thoughts, I see someone else running, coming in our direction, armored and striding purposefully. What's wrong? Rizlin, what's wrong? Um, Vita's dead. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Hey, Lamb. I, I, I'm glad you enjoy it. Because I enjoy voice acting for you guys. <laughs> what else do we know? Apparently, this ash is all that's left of her. This is highly related to her demonic heart. But I thought she was... Rizlin. Rizlin, what have you done? Watch it, Jania. <laughs> Rizlin, did Vita abandon you? Well, yeah, she must have slipped away before dawn. I don't know what happened. I woke up and found her missing. <laughs> Bob. <laughs> All right, I don't know what happened. I woke up and found her missing. We should identify the killer and detain them somehow. It doesn't matter who's a demon heart. There is a murderer among us. <laughs> when you search in Lamb. <laughs> Why would they do this? Do they want her powers? Vita wasn't supposed to die. Even Leona said she should be arrested, not slain. <sighs> this charred debris isn't much of a clue about the cause of her death. But what about the armor? Ron, is there any indication of what kind of weapon caused this puncture? Was it a knife or a sword? It was your knife, Kaisar. Or the one you keep hidden in your... How dare you! Ribbon the leather is so large that it's impossible to tell if it was made by a dagger or a sword. It would be easier to answer that question if we had a body to inspect. At least we can cross off Bane as a suspect. Everyone knows he wields a hammer. Everyone knows Bane could use any damned weapon he wanted. Is that so? I'll make sure to inform him about your accusation. Why is there no blood, though? If the rest of the bodies turned into ash, it's possible that the same happened with any fresh blood. Should we check our bags? Kaiser ducks down and grabs one of the bigger bags from the ground. Not so fast, Kaiser. Hands where we can see them. Open it slowly. Kaiser carefully opens the big leather bag, revealing a variety of objects. Flasks of juice, small tools, spare clothes, and other assorted goods. I guess we're all getting... <laughs> we're just gonna loot her stuff. <laughs> Clearly. Ron keeps a watchful eye, ensuring no one takes anything without permission or attempts any tricks. Damn it, Ron! I wanted that juice! <laughs> Dang it! Guys are pocket it for me, please. I'll kiss you later. Um... <laughs> what? <laughs> Why do I always get Judas in chat? <laughs> oh, good. Good. She deserves to eat like a queen. Kaisar and Jania opened each of the smaller bags one by one. Vita carried a lot of useful equipment on her journeys. Strangely, none of the bags seemed to contain her dagger. These objects don't tell us much. Let us wake those still asleep and call for a meeting. Hold on. We should use this opportunity to investigate before we inform the others of the murder. Of course, my brilliant deduction may be wrong. There are four of us here, meaning it's more likely the killer is one of us than one of the three who are allegedly asleep. Or, hey, since I know it wasn't me, it's a toss-up. 
We are not numbers, Kaisar. Each one of us is a human being, and we do not take life by random chance. Though with you around, I must agree the probability is high indeed. You can't mean that. Vita was an innocent girl. You walk a thin line with your constant provocations. You and I are not friends. Yeah, because you're fighting over Rizlin. How long have these dimwits been buddies, and what should we do in the end? Anything we decide is a double-edged blade. If we disperse now, the murderer might use the opportunity to hide the evidence, forcing everyone to meet up as a benefit. But... <sighs> Alright, let's search the area, just for the, just the four of us. I'll take Rizlin. Forget it, friend. Excuse me? You're the one most interested in covering Rizlin's tracks. Do you plan to instruct her on how to act innocent? I'm glad I'm not the only one you jerks despise. Speaking of which, don't leave me unsupervised either. Put me in Rizlin's care, and if you're lucky, I'll end up like Vita, so you can all take a permanent break from me. The reason I wish to accompany her is that I know I am not the killer. Which I cannot say for anyone else. Wait, I bet you Ron did it. Ron de absolutely did it. <laughs> you can't take the tongue. <laughs> oh my god. Well, we are forming a council right now. And your suggestion is outvoted. You can't pair up with Rislin. Oh boy. Well, let's see. I vote to go with Ron, making it two against two. Who's going to stop us? I don't want to anger the council. I didn't want to pair up with Ron in the first place. <laughs> I don't know who's going to stop us. I vote to no. I didn't want to pair up with them. Listen, listen. I gotta kiss this guy because if I don't kiss this guy, I'm not gonna kiss anybody, and that's exactly what BB10 wants. So we <laughs> can't do that. <laughs> I didn't want to pair up with Ron in the first place. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Ron. <laughs> I'm making him sad. Is there anything we can agree on? Well, I'd prefer to go alone or with Ron. I'd be perfectly fine on my own. Except I sometimes get lost. <sighs> Kaisar, come aside. Huh? Splendid! You're going to talk behind our backs without a hint of shame. Um, Rislin? Are you feeling unwell? I have been fighting this dizziness all along. Vita's remains still right in front of us. I might be able to find a cure for you. Kaisar is not a demon heart, so I'll trust him. Jania, would you like to spill your blood for us? Uh, no, please! <sighs> See how much longer you'll be able to dodge the test of blood. Th that goes for Rislin as well. Surely you know bleeding the woman you love is not the answer, and it's not any better if you do it to poor little me. Fear. Fear is good. The terms you requested sound reasonable, Jania. More than one person in this cursed village is interested in investigating, investigating your suspicious behavior. So I'll do everyone the courtesy and look into it. You're coming with as for you, Kaisar, anything happens to Rizlin or if I hear one complaint from her, I will cut you into smithereens and send your remains to prison. Is that clear? Yes, Ron. My apologies if I acted inappropriately. I feel a painful emptiness in my stomach, and suddenly my head feels lighter. Darkness covers my eyes. Okay, so definitely... Okay, so I guess we... Okay, so Ron isn't the demon heart, right? Kaiser is not. And who else do we know for sure? Leona's definitely not. So, no, I'm not. So there's got to be one more. So I don't think it's Chania because she's a witch. And I don't know if witches become, can become, yeah, they can probably become, become demon hearts. So it's either her or the big guy. And is there anybody else? I don't know. Darkness covers my eyes. I start to tumble forward, but two strong arms stop me before I reach the ground. I recognize Ron's face hovering above me, 
His long black hair flutters around him like raven wings as he anxiously gazes down at me. Hislin. That helps me to settle down onto the ground. A few steps away, I notice Kaiser narrowing his eyes at us. There's a vein pulsing at his forehead as he watches Ron's hands linger at my waist. Shh, it'll be alright. Have you had anything to drink? Faintly, I shake my head no. Here, I brought some water. It's not only thirst and hunger that have me feeling so well, it's Vita. Well, that should help me, just take it. Um, I don't know. You know what? Why can't- You know what? Even rat guys deserve love. Seriously. <laughs> Watch. He's probably a really great character. <laughs> I on some juice. Alright. Um, yeah, I think this is the one. I take the flask offered to me. I see you have a supply of water. Comrade Leona and I have plenty of it put away can share it with anyone who needs some. That would be merciful. It's sickening to think the seer wants us all to kill one another. People around me. No one would have murdered Vita if we were free. Yet someone gave in to the demon spawn's prodding. Once I empty the contents of the flask, Ron helps me to my feet. Pull away from him. <laughs> you guys are just going to have to deal with it. Besides, Ron is like the boring good guy. Come on. Are you sure you can handle the investigation? Perhaps it's better of you. Don't worry. If she can't walk, we'll sit here for a while. I suppose then Ron and I should. Yes, investigate. Why not? If you wish to keep your skin intact, you'll also need to answer some questions. Well, at least you had something to drink. Last place you saw Vita alive was the house you were both occupying, correct? That's the first place we should search. Will you take me home? Uh, what? <laughs> I know I'm a boring good guy, it's fine. No, I'm a klutz, what are you talking about? You guys see me play those other games? Um, I suppose we should search there, of course. Follow me. Where I'm from, letting rats into the house is considered a terrible idea. I'm not feeling well. I think I'll take you up on that offer to just sit for a while. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I suppose we should search there, of course. Follow me. Uh, how about the sit for a while? Oh. Birdie, you can't simply refuse to check out the victim's home. Why couldn't you just be nice and say yes to me? to make progress or we'll die. It's a serious game the demons and the killer are making us play. Come here. He grabs my wrist and pulls me along with him. See? It's not that hard. Don't pretend like you can't walk. Here we are. It is both the victims and the prime suspect's home. Obviously the most important place to search. What in the world were those other kids thinking? Walking away like that. Um, I wasn't expecting you to call me the prime suspect. One of them is the killer, so they don't have to investigate. I already know there's nothing of interest here, though. I don't understand what Ron was thinking, leaving me with you, or even allowing you to walk free! <laughs> Why are you... Why are you a- why am I getting angry face? Stop with the- <laughs> Well, nothing's gonna happen, we're investigating! Seriously. Um, I wasn't expecting you to call me the prime suspect. One doesn't have to be a genius to suspect you, Rizlin. Let's get it out of the way. Tell me the truth so I can help you, yes? Didn't expect this kind of action from you. But what if Vita attacked you first? Did that bitch corner you until you finally gave in and murdered her? Did you do it? No one, her death devastates me. Unfortunately, no, someone beat me to it and I have no idea who ate the heart. <laughs> someone beat me to it! I didn't, did you? I 
are you trying to play? We both know. Oh, it was you. <laughs> no. No, and her death devastates me. We're doing that one. No, you wouldn't be that stupid, would you? Forgive me. I imagine this is stressful for you. I had to confirm it so I know what I'm working with. The others are going to think it was you. It's the easiest solution. So someone managed to put your Vitor behind your back. It'll be a shame if the assassination sets off a wave of fear and fury, and you or I get hurt in the chaos. No one said you could count on me, but don't misunderstand. Help doesn't always come in the form of an angry imbecile charging at your enemies. The situation is delicate, and mayhem could be one wrong word away. Imagine for an instant that the killer is vain. Should we say it to his face? We'd get hammered to death. So, if you ever find yourself alone, or if you are forced to make an accusation, remember my advice. Catching the real killer proves too difficult or plain dangerous. We must do whatever increases our chances of long-term victory, even if it means framing the wrong person. What? Framing? Okay, I'm on board. Um... <laughs> Can you help me if the others accuse me? Frame someone innocent. How does that help us? The real killer would still be on the loose. I'll remember it. I'll do whatever it takes. You are a horrible excuse for a man. No, guys, we can't do that. It isn't right. <laughs> Some of these... Oh, my God. I don't know. I'm just going to choose the worst of them, I'm sure. I don't know what to... What would he want to hear from me? from me so that we can maybe kiss later. Um, rape someone innocent? How does that help us? The real killer would still be on the loose. <laughs> no! I'm not doing this ass. No, let's frame someone innocent. How does that help us? The real killer would be on the loose. Okay, we're gonna do that one. By all means, let's catch the real murderer, as long as it doesn't get us killed. We still have a while before we can leave this place. We don't have to right every wrong immediately. The Shack could still use investigating. Maybe you missed something the first time, since you weren't looking for a killer. Alright, so time to start looking around. <laughs> oh, he just wants me to, to just... I don't even know. He probably would have loved the first game, because you can, you can actually poison someone to death. <laughs> you can. I look at the piece of fabric on the ground. It's Virginia's cookies used to be. What is that? It's too lousy to be a piece of your clothing, isn't it? It's a cloth Jania used to pack the Fernwood Forest fancies. <laughs> yeah, so that we can kiss later. Did you eat them? Oh, well, I did, but I didn't know about Vita. Oh, I did. Did you get some as well? <laughs> no, but she left some for Elos with the message that they were for him alone. Oh, I'm about to burp. Oh, it wasn't even that loud of one. We were in the same building. Not sure she knew, but I wouldn't be surprised either way. Screw the cookies. They're probably not the culprit. I don't suppose the harlot is dumb enough to pull that off. Look at the oil lamp on the nightstand. Does it still work? Before I can respond, Kaiser grabs the lamp and tilts it to examine its oil canister. You might use this to set someone on fire. That's not how she died, is it? Besides, it's still full, so that couldn't be it. Seer has been doing some maintenance around here, filling your little lamp and such. I guess so. No borp. That wasn't even that loud. But I am going to need some water soon because my throat's getting dry. Under the bed, under the old bed, an abundance of dust and dirt has gathered over time. Despite searching carefully, I can't find a trace of any secret message Vita might have left for me. It's not even the faintest whisper of her presence. Is this where you both slept? Well, at first only Vita slept there, but last night we both did. I don't want to talk about it. Why does that matter? <laughs> What's not the biggest borp? Um, uh, why does that matter? <laughs> yes. 
Because <laughs> he's jealous? Oh, I'm just asking so I can get all jealous. On second thought, she's a little too scorched to warrant my envy. Kaiser grabs the bed cover, hurling it to the ground, and subjects, and subjects the bed to a thorough inspection. I feel exposed by his scrutiny, even though it's not my fault the bedding is so dirty. <laughs> Nothing here. You put the blanket back respectfully. You just slept there last night. Um, I don't know. I know it's way too dirty, but we had to sleep somewhere. Are you such a pig in your own home as well? <laughs> no, we're doing this one. Well, you know what? There was nowhere else. <laughs> you don't have to tell me. So far, I haven't found a single proper bed to call my own. Finding nothing out of the ordinary with the bed, I put the blanket back on. No! <laughs> don't! Only Sylvain. <laughs> Only Sylvain, dang it. And, and Leon isn't dirty. I mean, yeah, he does get a little dirty from, like, you know, all the zombies he's killing, but, you know. The moss is soft and still alive despite the decay of the house. <laughs> I know, you can't go a single a single stream, <laughs> Trevor, without me ta <laughs> talking about Leon. <laughs> Sorry. Why are you staring at the damned wall? Don't start crying on me. I was trying to look for clues. Maybe some hidden object left behind or signs of a struggle. There's nothing here. There are some knife carvings on the ceiling. I only noticed them today, but that doesn't mean they haven't been there all along. It might be ages old. Those don't appear relevant. Vita and her attacker couldn't have had an aerial battle above the bed, could they? Yeah, he's probably right. <laughs> That's not what S stands for. It's Scott. Scott Kennedy. But BB10 thinks a sausage, and he says it, like, innocently? Not real? Well, he knows it's Lou, but he keeps saying it. <laughs> I look at the windows. Kaiser inspects the hinges in the sliding mechanism. Hmm. Yeah, it opens. That's one possible way for someone to get in or out. It appears you can close it from the outside as well. Also, hear how quiet it is? Well, they couldn't have pushed her out the window without waking me up. Hmm. I see. Let's see. Well, it's this one. Well, they must have killed her somehow. Of course, if Vita went out on her own, the killer didn't need to enter the house. Maybe she was the one who sneaked out the window. The door is awfully noisy. Are you a light sleeper? I don't think so. There has, if there was a big party in here all night long, you'd wake up none the wiser, eh? Well, Birdie, all that searching did nothing for us. I know of a much better way we could have used that bed. Oh boy. <laughs> we could have, but there's no time anymore. <laughs> Kaiser, please stay serious and try to help. Stay focused on the task, animal. <laughs> we know which one I'm doing. <laughs> Are you for real? So, if only I'd remembered sooner. You should remind me when I forget something important like that. Now, whatever physical issues you experienced earlier, I'm sure you recovered from that type of thing quickly. Is he referring to my heart's powers? He must be. At this point, all of his snide comments couldn't be a coincidence. He's figured me out. Now. Was it really my quick hands of which you warned me that night? I don't feel like confessing. I'll simply assume he somehow made the connection. He's known about my heart all along. He must know I did not become a demon heart by killing Vita, so at least he believes me. My luck has been dismal. Let's pray the killer is a bad liar. We have to keep searching. Kaiser, before we proceed, I have to ask, you've been acting differently around Ron. Yeah, that's a good question. What's going on with you and Ron? 
We talked about his brother and our past together. Ron reprimanded me for how I've been acting these past few days. I'm aware that I sometimes make others uncomfortable. Ron is right, in a way. That guard boy is so unhinged. We better obey him, right? Especially when he waves his sword in our faces. Uh, where do you think we should search? Should search, okay, enunciate. Well, let's try the watchtower, the building where Ryan and I found you the other day. Let's explore the fire cave at the graveyard. I don't know. Are we going to have to go through all these places again? Uh, no, he doesn't smell like Leon. He clearly, Leon smells like sewage. Did you see him go through sewers in both games? He clearly smells like sewage. Um. <laughs> Alright, around the campfire at the graveyard. Right, let's just go to the watchtower. Are you referring to that building with the spiral staircase and fancy room? It's pretty far-fetched to think we'd find anything there. Do you wager someone shot Vita with a flying dagger? Can we just go, please? Do you want a better idea? Or do you have a better idea? Don't be a dick and walk! <laughs> I love this! One of these days, I'm just going to, like, choose all of the, like, the snarky, like, Yeah, I do. Have you seen him? Have you not seen Leon S. Kennedy? Come on. Okay, have, do you have a better idea? Not really. Oh, well. I've seen this room before. Lots of weapons. You think any of them could have been the murder weapon? Or when have you been here? Yesterday, I think. Does it matter? Now, if you consider this place suspicious because it contains these old weapons, well... There are many other sharp and pointy objects in the village. Ron's sword, and Leona's sword. Your sword, Bertie. <laughs> Your dagger? Are you suspecting me again? No, I'm only saying we shouldn't jump to conclusions. The bottom line is, we can't judge based on the weapons everyone carries. Anyone could have grabbed a sharp object and stuck it in her chest. Hell, even Vita had a knife. Maybe she was stabbed with her own. Which reminds me, I did not see it with her remains. What if she killed herself? What? Plot twist. What if Vita just couldn't stand it anymore and she just killed herself? I don't know. Oh, it's this perfect as Monica from Nightcry. I have to agree with you uh, on that one. What is it, love? Wait, he's calling me love now? <laughs> what? Did you see Vita's dagger near her armor? Nothing. Blush and shake my head. <laughs> Listen, I really kind of want to do, did you see Vita's dagger near her armor? But I kind of want to blush. But would he like that? I don't even know. Oh my god. The decisions. It's just so hard. Alright, we're gonna blush. I mean, why not? If we're gonna go all the way, <laughs> he's gonna start calling me babe. Yeah. Another minor distraction, then. I examine the chamber once again. I notice the roasted squirrel is no longer on the table. What now? I didn't realize this old tower was that captivating. Well, there used to be a roasted rodent here, and now it's gone. As in a meal? Well, then. Someone either ate it, or they had that demon spawn is cleaning after us. Do you think someone other than Junia is able to hunt small animals? You were quick to call it a meal, so it must have been yours. Who else eats rodents? It probably doesn't matter. I don't know. Somebody else was in here, though. Clearly. Um, no, it probably doesn't matter. Got any more ideas for places to investigate? Um, what about the building where Ryan and I found you the other day? Oh, the Warehouse of Dreams, where everyone sees what they desire. It turned out to be true. I wanted Ron out of my sight, so he started wailing and walked right out. It's a 
nice place, but I think Elos is in there right now, and I don't desire to see him. So let's not break the illusion, shall we? Elos might still be asleep in there. That's where I spent the night as well, so there's nothing to investigate. Unless you wish to tip the old man off to what we're doing. We'll talk to him when everyone's gathered anyway. Gods know he's tedious. Pick someplace else. Alright, fine. Let's go to the fire cave. Oh, the one where you and Vita went up against a monster? That's a bit unsettling. That's somewhere I'd want to go without a weapon. You have your sword, but what am I to do? Well, you have a dagger! Seriously! Are we investigating or not? You're right, the cave is too dangerous, even for demon hearts. What? <laughs> Should I say that? Hmm. Because I mean, would that be in me admitting them that, an, that, that I'm a demon heart? Let's see. Uh, fine. We'll see what happens. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? I could just die, right? But then I'd come back alive again because I'm a demon heart. Still, I wish to see the place. Oh, we're going anyways. Do you swim with your clothes on? I imagine it's inconvenient, but I sure as hell am not undressing. Kaiser jumps into the water. Seizing the opportunity while his back is turned, I sneak a glimpse at the spot where I concealed the two arrows. Looks like they are still there. Doesn't that armor weigh you down? It's a good thing the river isn't deep. Well, I'm used to it. I bet it's not that much heavier than your leather vest. It looks thick. It's heavy, but I don't want you to see me in my wet shirt. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think this one. <laughs> Arrow him? <laughs> well, yes, it helps me with my posture. Despite the rigid vest, he still manages to slouch and look lazy. As we approach the cave, I wonder how Kaiser will deal with having to wriggle through such a narrow passageway. He appears pretty good at it, like a snake in its natural habitat. He eagerly pushes forward as the air grows hotter. He doesn't appear phased at all when his suit scrapes against the stone. Despite the sweltering air, Kaiser marches forward with anticipation. As he steps toward the bridge, he spreads his arms in awe. What a magical place! I thought only real adventurers could witness something of the sort. It's completely worth getting all wet and disgusting. Do you prefer the peaceful life or this? Um, I don't know why I wanted to come here. It's the last place Vita and I explored together. Um, Kaiser, you've drawn your knife. <laughs> you need a bath anyway! <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Oh, have I? Relax, Birdie. I know what I'm doing. So, where do the monsters come from? Merely out of curiosity. Oh, the water on the other side of the cave. Maybe the seer needs to detect us to release one. Kaiser stands at a safe distance from the bridge, but stoops to get a closer look at the lake of lava beneath us. One would expect this area to be scorching hot, but you were able to cross the bridge. Interesting. Still, it's doubtful that we'll find any clues here. If anything, this place is perfect for hiding evidence in the lava. Thank you for treating me to this amazing day together. Where else would you want to take me? Oh man, I guess we're going to the graveyard next. That's a great place to go for a date, right? Come now, it's pretty far away from the body. And what about your dizziness? Healed already, huh? Besides, Elos likes to hang in that graveyard. What if we encounter Jania mating with him? Bane. <laughs> mating with Bane? <laughs> what? Did he really say that? Then is there any place you, you wish to investigate? Are you sabotaging the search on purpose? I'm heading there, whether you're coming or not. I'll cover your eyes if we come across them. <laughs> you only do that one. Oh, what the hell. Let's go. Looks the same as before. 
Kaiser walks among the tombstones, his eyes tracing the inscriptions. In honor of Elara, the fearless explorer of forbidden lands. The woman who had a death wish decided to take risks for no good reason. Rested ground of the elders, keepers of ancient wisdom. Wisdom that failed to save their town from ruin. Here lies Baldorf, whose music warmed our hearts. Only good bard is a dead. Uh, even if it's me? <laughs> Why did you stop? Why? Well, how can you say that? Why did you stop? Let's see. Kaiser looks distracted. His gaze is fixed on something behind one of the tombstones. A pile of black fabric lying on the grass. His eyes narrow before he makes a move toward it. I also rush to inspect the mysterious object, but Kaiser reaches down and picks it up first. It's a cloak. Obviously not in such a bad state as the rest of the items in the settlement. Is it Elos's? Vita's? Vita's cloak was there with the rest of her belongings. Right. Vito still has one as well. I saw him asleep this morning. Might be one of Vita's extras. She carried some wares, didn't she? Didn't she? Oh my god, I'm getting congested. Okay. No, I don't th think that belonged to Vita. This cloak must have something to do with the murderer. Hold on to it. Then, how would it end up here? This has to have something to do with the murder. Let's just hold on to it. All right, just let's make sure not to derail the others with meaningless pieces of information. We don't figure out why this thing matters. Feeling anxious, I walk behind the tombstone where we found the cloak. Then I notice something else on the ground. Red feathered arrow. But my two arrows are still hidden at the river riverbank. This is the third one. As I stare at the arrow frozen in my tracks, Kaisar's hands come to grip my shoulders from behind. He draws closer and speaks into my ear. Relax. It's just an arrow lying by itself. Or, hell, let's check the surroundings. Did they drop the bow as well? We search the rest of the graveyard and inside the crypt. But we don't find anything else. The arrow in the cloak. Someone is messing with us. Someone called the Red Feathered Assassin, clearly. Who, you know who, whose arrow this must be, don't you? Yes, that must be it. No, someone called the Red Feathered Assassin. Because that's that's who was we were after, dang it. Are they one of us? Uh-oh. Do you think so? It'd be easier to catch if he was leaving a trail of arrows behind him like an absolute no, I think this was done by someone either brave or stupid. But in that case, this must be an attempt to mislead us. Vita wasn't shot with a ranged weapon. In fact, this arrow looks clean and undamaged. What he doesn't know is that it looks exactly like the same, the same as the ones I found that morning. There's no doubt it's the same type of arrow, although this doesn't necessarily prove the assassin's presence. I had two of those arrows myself. You don't understand. If we were trapped here with that assassin, we're all going to die. They can pick us off from a distance, and they never miss. Um, the Red Feathered Assassin may well be Vita's killer. I don't know. I don't know. I think it belonged to Vita. I believe she was the assassin, and someone else killed her. I don't know about that either. I agree that this is a setup. Someone tried to frame the assassin and lead us astray. Maybe that's a good one. Hmm. Why don't we go with that one? Yes, that's the simplest explanation. And in this case, I believe it's true. Still, I suppose we should take these items and show them to the others, but bear in mind. Vita's death is a seed of chaos that could push everyone toward violence. If we stir up more tension with rumors of the assassin, it might be the last thing we ever do. Then again, it is only right to let the others know. Perhaps they can make sense of it. Hell, maybe it can help save someone's life. Well, it wouldn't be fair to hide it. We must show the others we can't withhold information if we wish to catch the killer. Um, we should hide this distinction distraction. It would 
no, I don't know. No, this can't go public. I'm afraid of the assassin. I wouldn't want to anger them. I don't know. I, I'm thinking, um, we must show the others. We can't withhold information if we wish, wish to catch a killer. Um, go ahead, take the stuff. Just be careful with how you, with, with how and when you bring it up. You have a great responsibility. Don't make everyone lose their heads. Can we move on? Yeah, let's go to the campfire. Won't we run into Leona? We're not supposed to tell the others what happened yet. Well, if we run into her, so be it. Do you hold a grudge against Leona? That's a good question. Not any more than anyone else. Would you like to have dinner with that monster or sleep in the same room? Oops. I suppose Ron does. You know what? Fine. I'm too thirsty to refuse. What are the chances Leona is the killer anyway? I bet you she's the killer. She's definitely killer now. We make our way to the lonely house by the chasm. The occasional gust of wind blows past, rustling the blades of grass and sending a chill up my back. We don't see Leona anywhere. Nothing strange here. Ron said something about a supply of water. It must be inside. Leona be damned, I'm thirsty. Kaiser opens the door and enters the house. Not wanting to miss anything, I follow him. It doesn't appear to be anyone inside. Kaiser quickly finds a crate full of flasks and takes one to drink. Thirsty. I thought I was about to kick the bucket. Serves me right for being too lazy to collect rainwater, unlike those idiots. Well, they're not exactly idiots, are they? Hey, thanks for reminding me to take care of myself, but otherwise I think we came here in vain. We've had enough walking. I can't think of any other places worth searching. I must confess I've lost hope as soon as we searched your bedroom. It was devoid of any helpful clues. So, what's your plan, Rislin? Which one of the seven companions are you going to accuse? Oh shit, I have to accuse someone? I'm not telling you, I don't know yet. You, surely not myself. You're technically eight companions, but I suppose Peter herself is not I suspect. Um, hmm. I don't know yet. Can't blame you. It looks like we're sharing this haunted hamlet with that master criminal. Your experts in killing without leaving a trace is unparalleled. Even I have no idea how they did it. Let's find the others. We encounter Ron and Jania back at Vita's remains. It appears they just completed a comprehensive search of the area. <laughs> blame Geyser! <laughs> Killer really gave us something to work with, didn't she? Why did you say she? No reason. We may as well alternate between he and she, as we don't know who did it. Find anything? Unfortunately, we didn't. Everything looks the same as the day we arrived. It's time to close this investigation and give Vita a proper burial. <sighs> sounds, that, sounds like futile work. There isn't a corpse left to disturb, so why bother? She was Rislin's friend, and she will be buried. As you say. I was thinking, Vita probably wouldn't have wanted Leona or Elos at her funeral anyway. What do you think, Rislin? Should we invite Bane? I'm sure Bane won't mind if we leave him out of it. He and Vita weren't on bad terms, but they weren't close either. Well, I should bury her on my own. She didn't trust any of you, and I don't know who killed her. Uh... The four of us are enough. I thought so. I thought we'd finally speak to the others. Oh well, I'll follow you. Gently I gather the armor and clothing from the ground, collecting bits of dust in my hands along the way. Some of its remains scattered. That's fine. She deserves freedom in her passing. Together the four of us make our way to the river's edge. The earth seems to resist deeper digging, so we create a shallow, modest resting place. With care, I lay Vita's remains into the makeshift grave, makeshift grave and stand in solemn contemplation. Ron steps out towards me, watching me intently as if he was afraid I might falter. 
Jania's head hangs low as she stares down at Vita's belongings, laid in the shallow grave. Kaisar looks dark, as usual. His restless eyes focus on the living alone, watching everyone in turns and never lowering to meet Vita's remains. We are gathered here to say farewell to our companion, Vita. Rizlin, you knew her better than any of us did. What do you think she'd like you to say at her funeral? How the hell am I supposed to know? Um, rest in peace, my friend. To the bastard who murdered her, you're next. I, I don't know what she'd want. Doesn't matter what we say, she's gone. Um, uh, rest in peace. Rest in peace. I take a fistful of earth and sprinkle it over Vita's belongings. Ron and Jania repeat my gesture with care and respect. What? It's only her outfit. I bet she wouldn't want me throwing dirt on her. You could have just thrown a little dirt, Kaisar. Come on. Just gather the others for a trial. Jania, you can fetch Bane. Kaisar, I need you to do me a favor. Tactfully inform Leona of the situation. That woman? I believe you're the only one suitable. I said do me a favor, Kaisar. You need to start getting along with the law. Can't be too difficult. Simply don't be your usual jerk self. Wait, he just got called a jerk? <laughs> he's, but he's not jerk Bane. Oh, whatever. So, you wish to send us away and conspire with Rizlin after all? Aren't you happy I'm giving you some space to conspire with Bane? If you don't leave us alone, I'll declare you the prime suspect and convince Leona of it. Your words reek of corruption. It is common knowledge that my conscience is clear. Jania runs away. I'll do as you asked. They finally left us alone. Did you find anything that might help us? Well, take a look at this. I think it belonged to the Red Feathered Assassin. Show him the cloak and arrow. Um, not much in terms of material evidence. Found out Kaiser is a twisted psychopath. No, he's not. And he's not the jerkiest either. Um, I think I'm going to show him the cloak. You know what, Kaiser? Yeah, we're, we're just going to show him. So this is the assassin's cloak. Ron takes the cloak from me and tries it on, examining the fit. Noticing my worried look, he quickly takes it off. It's big enough for an adult man of any build, so it's possible. Still, I don't see a connection between the assassin, the graveyard, and Vita's death. It doesn't make any sense. Did Kaiser have any ideas? No, not really. He said it might be dangerous to share this with others, but I had to show you. Thought it wasn't relevant, but that we should probably let everyone know. I'm pretty sure that was it. Oh, I see. The red feathered assassin can't be Vita's killer. That's silly, isn't it? What about Kaiser? Not letting him accompany you might catch him off guard and give us a new perspective. Did you find him suspicious? Oh no, I'm not sure he's not the killer. I'm sure he's not the killer. Not really. I don't know. It was him. Believe me. <laughs> I'm not doing it, BB10. I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not sure. I'm I'm sure he's not the killer. Or uh, I, I don't know if he's a killer or not. He might have been. I don't know. I just don't know. I hope it wasn't him. We need trustworthy people by our side to keep order and help us discover the truth. Kaiser promised me he would behave and swore in my brother's name. All right, well, let's consider him an ally. He was... No, how, do you, how can you say that? You don't know. Did you see him? Did you see him thrust the dagger into her chest? You did not. We don't know. Um, I don't think he actually hated Vita. Why do you trust him? He didn't swear on his brother. His own brother. Yes, her sharp tongue was probably nothing for someone like him. He was Cyril's best friend. So I really hope Kaiser will behave and not force me to arrest him. As for Jania, I've had an opportunity to observe her. Not convinced of her innocence. 
She was apprehensive throughout the investigation. On the other hand, it's not uncommon for the innocent to fear being falsely condemned. I place her and Bane higher on my list of suspects, but there's one obstacle. Only Kaiser, Leona, and you and I knew the secret of Vita's heart. So then, as much as it pains me to say, I even suspect Leona. I have fond memories of our adventures serving the kingdom. She was supposed to ascend so high. Yet if she's taken to murdering prisoners, passing judgment by herself, and hiding her tracks, that is the opposite of what we stand for. It was definitely her. It was definitely Yona. Yona. No, you did not see it. You saw nothing. Why did you send Kaiser to talk to her? We have to leave our feelings behind to find the real killer, no matter who it is. I understand. Do you suspect me? <laughs> I don't know. Um... Why did you send? Anyways, that's a good one. I wouldn't be able to take it. Just thinking she might have fallen so low. I wouldn't be able to look her in the face. Oh man, if he finds out that I'm a demon heart, what the hell is he going to do? He's probably going to murder me. I could use Kaiser's opinion on Leona. I'm sure he'll be watching her with his eyes wide open. I won't tolerate his pointed jabs, but if he accuses Leona and appears, appears serious... Trust he has good reasons. If it was her, she wouldn't have done it to become a demon heart, but to eliminate them. Suddenly, Ron puts his hand on mine. Rizlin, everyone should take the test of blood. <laughs> no! It's gonna find out! It's the quickest way to discover the truth. Why are we even investigating without this crucial information? No, it's a terrible idea. I'm not going to do that. That presents an issue, but... What if someone was a demon heart all along, but they are not the killer? I suppose we'll have to. Let go of me! Oh, what am I gonna do? Um... Shut up. They're gonna find out. I don't even know if I'm getting out of this chapter at this, this, this rate. Um, it presents an issue. What if someone was a demon heart all along, but they are not the killer? No, I'm not gonna kill him! <laughs> um, let's just try this one. Even so, we need to know once and for all who all the demon hearts are. It would have been better for them to confess from the start. These individuals, how do we get them to confess? You're serpents, the lot of them. Bane doesn't even hide the fact that he is an unrefined ruffian. Shania resorts to unscrupulous methods to get men to do her bidding. Elos is completely insane. Leona, Ugh, I hope she hasn't descended into darkness. But Kaiser, he already has. I wanted to stay strong and tell you everything will be all right, but that might not be helpful. Besides, you must have noticed as well. We are surrounded by madmen and mad women. I wish we could escape and return to a place of sanity and order, but as it is need to maintain an illusion of order in the face of these corrupted liars. Even in this den of snakes, justice can still prevail. Thinking if Leona is the killer, everyone will be happy to condemn and punish her. If not, then she'll be on our side, and together we can imprison the killer, whoever it is. I'll be fine either way, but we need to discover if it was her or not. The way Ron speaks as if he and I were unconditionally on the same side, I still think so if he knew about my heart. Let's fetch Elos. He should be in the empty storage building. When we arrive at the building, however, it doesn't look quite so empty anymore. Some decorations have appeared on the walls and the large board. It looks like a gallery of demonic paintings. Good morning, young souls. Oh, the sun has climbed high already. What does this weathered minstrel own the pleasure of your presence, as the fair Jania gathered us a feast? Uh, Vita was killed. It's Vita. Uh, yeah, she's dead. Ah, uh, the maiden of silver hair, slain in the flower of her youth. Then it commences. That was left of her was ash inside her torn armor. Then 
her heart was as black as night. If they stole her life, t'was for a dire design, the mark of death on the maiden's heart. A hunter ascended from the pits of hell, heralding the twilight of our existence. Uh, I'm just gonna glare at it out of the sky. You might be at the twilight of your existence, old man, but I intend to live. No, 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 I do on that one. I'm not killing anybody. God. All right, yeah, we're doing this one. You might be, uh, yeah. Wait, that was evil. What was that? How was that evil plus one? Legends and prophecies live among the so-called heretics. Demon worshippers beckoning for the great ravage. Their dark wishes of light upon their very kin. Heard of their paramount prophecy. Sir Elos, why are we discussing this? Vita's been murdered and we need to gather for a trial. The mated demon heart shall come and birth the wingless one, bringer of the apocalypse. No, these cultists believe. Well, he's clearly a cultist. I am not. I am not. Stop it. Aren't demon hearts infertile? It sounds far fetched. We didn't need this information. Oh, yeah, that that aren't de that's a good one. It sounds um we didn't need this information. <laughs> oh, stop. I'm good. I swear. I never murdered anybody on purpose. Okay, how do you know these cults are demon hearts infertile? Indeed so, yet the prophecy states that such a woman should... <laughs> I, can't, I can't read this when you're saying that shit! Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna birth a demon baby, okay? Stop it. <laughs> God, okay. Indeed so, yet the prophecy states that such a woman shall journey to the altar of creation is the only place where, through ancient magic, she will be able to conceive a babe, and a horde of infernal beasts shall defy, fight to defile her. That an infernal son has gathered us in a rare, is a rare honor. He might be the one seeking to impregnate a demon heart. Oh, the seer? Well, that's so twisted. But a female demon heart was just murdered. Do you know of any way to defeat this false seer? Um, <laughs> stop it! <laughs> I'm gonna beat you. Um, but a female demon hurt just just murdered. And then she was not worthy. Mr. Elos, it is high time we depart. We all need to discuss Vita's murder and our following course of action. And so depart we must. Elos struggles to stand up. He reaches out and grabs furniture for support as he moves along. Let him struggle. I wish I could help him, but I'm scared. I am. I'm kind of scared of this guy. <laughs> Ron steps in to aid the old bard, gripping his upper arm for support. Outside, we see Jania and Bane standing over the place where we found Vita's remains. So, we've got a cowardly murderer. A murderous wench. Stab that pathetic girl in the night, then hide like an insect, lacking the guts to even show their teeth. Well, that's the point. The murderer doesn't wish to be discovered. <laughs> Anyone but you, I believe. Um, it was you, Bane. You pretended to be transparent, only to commit murder and make it look like a sneaky coward's work. Um, I don't know. That's the point. The murderer doesn't want why wish to be discovered. Tragic. That a blessed demon heart is gone, and tis like she never existed. Not even the earth can bear witness to her passing. There was nay a, a body to inter. Was there? Tomorrow, we may forget her. Lo, no, fear not, I've already weaved her into my manuscript. Do not forget Vita. Before we go, I wanted to share some theories with you, my friends. I'm not sure if she's claiming we're all friends now. I think it was either the Law Flunkies or Kaiser. That's everyone but us. I think we knew that. I know not why you trust this old wreck, but so be it. Got some nerve saying that in front of us, Jania. 
My apologies. I guess I shouldn't have. Shall we discuss the other suspect? Bane, tell them what you told me about Kaiser. That poor louse. When I met him, he was running from one wrecked, wrecked building to another, scared of as a little girl. Or rather, a freak girl with twitchy eyes. <laughs> yeah, but I'm still gonna kiss him. He mistook me for a thug, which made me him, made him more at ease. Still, he couldn't calm his restless nerves. His hand was constantly on his butter knife. Don't worry about Kaisar. I'm keeping an eye on him. Can you watch him day and night? I say that rat was up to no good since he appeared. Then again, he might not be worth the time. It is clear. Kaiser is a devious and underhanded person. Avoiding his company would be an astute course of action. I pitied him at first, but you're right. Worry not, dear youngling. The crow-hearted one is shunned by all. I'm not his friend either. Do you need to for force me to investigate with him? No, I'll keep it in mind. I think you're wrong about Kaiser. It's the three of you who are rats. I don't want to argue with them. No, they're wrong about him. I'm, I'm, I'm going to back him up. I'm gonna back him up. Everyone, let's leave any further discussions for the trial itself. The atmosphere is tense as we approach the clearing. Leona and Kaisar are already there, waiting. As everyone finds a place to settle down, they exchange nervous glances. Everyone except for Elos, who looks absent as ever. We sit down in the same way we did that evening, when we first made introductions and shared a dinner and ale. It's just like before, only the fire has long died down and Vita is no longer by my side. As you all know, we are here to discuss the murder of our companion, Vita. Yesterday evening, she was caught in a suspicious situation which revealed her as a demon heart. This morning, we found her ashes. Could have been anyone who was familiar with her condition, or even someone who wasn't. Who knows? Maybe she was feeling lonely, so she went out to have find some fun. Someone gave her a rough time in bed and uncovered her nature. She did not go. <laughs> she, she did not go out to do that. Who could have given her a rough time? <laughs> I'm not going to jail. Stop it. She was with me. She had no need to do that. Stay silent. Um. All right. Um. Oh. Did you leave her well satisfied so she didn't need to? That was that was enough, Kaiser. Mind how you speak of the dead. We're alive. We are more important. Please don't invest on invent unnecessary scenarios. We already have too much on our plate. Our safety has been compromised. Remember, each person here is interested in getting out of this cursed village. Someone is sabotaging us when you need to discover who it is. Demon heart or not, unlawful killers must be detained. I suppose you've already informed one another, but yesterday evening, Vita and Rislin fought a tentacled monster in a mysterious cave. Vita was wounded in her arm and, upon aunt questioning, confessed to possessing unholy demonic healing. The ones who witnessed her nature were Rislin, Ron, Kaisar, and myself. I cautioned those presents to guard the woman's secret for the time being and asked Rislin to stay by her side. Did you watch over her, girl? Well, up until I fell asleep, she was holding my hand. She chose a safe place to sleep, but then she was gone. Of course I did. Apparently not well enough. No? What What can you do about it? <laughs> I don't know. I'm thinking, um, well, until, yeah, uh, this one for sure. In conclusion, sometime between midnight and dawn, Vita wound up outside of her shelter, slain. Maybe she had a bad dream. Who knows what being a demon heart is like? Well, I do. <laughs> I do! <laughs> I love it when that happens. Rizlip was the first to find Vita's remains. Well, Kaiser was right after me. You were also nearby, Jenny. I was. I called out to you as soon as I noticed you. The remains were near the shack where the two birds spent the night. Perhaps because Rislin didn't have the strength to drag her far. What? 
Weren't you supposed to be on my side? Neither did you, weakling. Very funny, Kaiser. Please stop disrupting this trial. <laughs> what? Do a what? We're discussing all the real possibilities. Do you have a problem with that? Let us not jump to conclusions yet. The loss of a demon heart is not precisely the gravest matter imaginable. What if what I find more concerning is that it was done in unlawful secrecy? Murderers among us. I beg to differ. The demon hearts have amazing stories to tell. The loss of one such individual is a bitter tragedy. Ugh. Let the dogs bark. Leona takes off her glove, bringing the wound in her palm into the light of day. Watch. I am still pure-hearted, and so is Comrade Ron. Show them. Ron takes off his glove, doing the same. The deep cuts on their palms have scabbed by now, but they are undoubtedly still there. Does anyone else wish to partake in the test? I speak for Kaiser. I saw bruises on his chest both yesterday and this morning. Were he a demon heart, those would not last, correct? That is sufficient proof of his purity, but the secrecy and vouching for one another can only harm us. I understand it would be inconvenient to show us these bruises, but why not simply scratch your palm? Because I'm not a fan of your blood cult. So, do the others still reject the test? A firm silence is the answer from the rest of us. Then I invite each one of you to take your turn speaking, so the remaining innocent may prove their worth. She seems convinced that all the non-demon hearts are innocent, but that is not necessarily true. Ron, tell us about your whereabouts and your motivations, and why you did not commit this crime. Do I need to say this, or should you, comrade? You and I spent the entire night in this very house. It's true. I simply wish to give each individual a chance to speak on their own behalf. As for my lack of motive, firstly, I am a city guard. My duty is to protect the citizens of the kingdom, not only in Crows, but in all of Shermire. Secondly, I found Vita to be a likable person, and I do not hate the demon hearts. Did you two sleep in the same bed? Did you get a good grip on him, Leona? Why have they not? Because cause we're not doing that, BB-10. We're not doing that. <laughs> we never lied in the same bed, but I vouch he did not abandon the building after until after dawn. Easy for you to say. And I vouch for Jania and a half of this village. Please, mind how you come, mind how you come off. You do know where I spent the night. You may not approve of our evidence, but let us proceed, so we may hear everyone out. I am next. Wait, Ron still has things to explain? Wait, he still has things to explain! <laughs> Hold on. Are you a demon heart? You say you don't hate them, Ron. I bet you he's the other demon heart. Maybe he keeps scratching his palm so it just doesn't heal. I don't know. I mean, there's gotta be something. There's no way it's Kaiser. I'm just saying it right now. But if it is... I'll still kiss him. Okay. <laughs> I be No, I don't know. I believe in his innocence. Let's just go with that. Thank you. I would never harm anyone who did not deserve it, especially not someone close to you. There we have it. Vita was close to Rislin. Doesn't that give you some ideas about this jealous boy's behavior? Did those two wenches get involved? Kaiser, I thought we came to an understanding. I wasn't being serious. No one here thinks you did it, do they? There's no harm done. <laughs> no, <I'm guessing. laughs> no, you were not strangulating. Who, who's you? <laughs> you. I can just see you, like, typing so feverishly and, like, misspelling because you're, like, you, you want to be tossing people in volcanoes. Okay. 
We are discussing a serious matter with each irrelevant argument. You're wasting our energy and hurting this trial. Kaiser's, Kaiser's idea was legitimate. Is he not allowed to accuse you even though you are the killer? Are you blackmailing him, Ron? You know what, Nashu? Nashu, get out! Come on! Nashu, why are you there? Sorry, she just decided she wanted to jump right in front of my, my screen. Come on, baby. <laughs> what? Come here. Don't cry. Did you guys hear her cry? She's like, no mommy. No, hold on. Chesman's not at his computer. I'm going to take a, little, a, a few second break and put um, kitty cat or mice videos on the uh, on Chesman. Uh, give me a second. Oh, she knows it's coming. Put her favorite one on. Alright, go over there. <laughs> You'll hear it in the background, hear a swap, whack, <laughs> scuffling under his monitor. Okay. Is he not allowed to accuse you, even though you are the killer? Are you blackmailing him, Ron? Do you see what you've done? Of course I don't believe it was Ron. I'm sorry I couldn't control myself. Uh, the other day, Ron threatened to beat me up if I said something wrong to Brislin. I'm not implying anything, but... Find a stunning face. Behold a thousand demons inside. What does that have to do with Vita's demonic heart? Someone ate it, and it wasn't me. To be honest, I find it unlikely that Ron brought Vita outside. I inspected the house. The only way someone could have entered silently would be through the windows. Look at him. I'm sorry for all your skill with the sword. I think stealthy break-ins are beyond your abilities. You don't need to apologize for that. Then drag her out. He did not. The maid went willingly. They conspired in the night, and the guard backstabbed the thief. Quiet down your wild imagination, minstrel. This kid didn't conspire with anyone. Clearly, Ron's proof of blood still stands. May we move on? I swear upon my honor as a defender of justice that I had no part in the murder of Vita. I have always been suspicious of her, but I would not take justice into my hands in such a manner. You have all heard me say it. I might send half of you away to Everlast Dungeons, but I would do no more. That was precisely the measure I intended to take against Vita once our seven days of this prison expired. Rizlin has heard me say it last night. Furthermore, with my proof of blood, you can trust in the pureness of my heart. I would never wish to join the ranks of the Forsaken. That doesn't prove your innocence. Seriously. You could have still killed her and just not ate the heart. Um, if there is one person we should trust, it isn't. No, no, no. That isn't you. Yeah. Does it not? What have you to add? Well, you say you intended to imprison Vita and take her to Everlast, but what does the crown do with demon hearts? Okay, Vita wasn't going to surrender. She could have sneaked out to keep searching for an exit, and that's when she found you. Or you used just as a pretense to exert power and control over everyone. To a person like that, a demonic heart would bring the ultimate power. That's a good one. I kind of like that. I kind of like that one. Your accusations are obscene. Even so, my wound proves I did not do anything as heinous as you imply. You removed Vita's heart from her chest and tucked it away somewhere. As soon as we part ways, you'll consume it. How would that work? Wouldn't Vita resurrect? She would not. If Leona burned the rest of her body... Burn a witch until there's only a pile of ash? Sounds like a job for a fire witch. Vita's remains didn't look like a person set on fire. Her clothing was intact, and only the body itself was reduced to ash. 
From what we saw, I conclude the heart was eaten, or otherwise destroyed. Of course, we may not have found all of Mita's remains. There, are, there were ways to set up the scene. Leona was the only was the one most interested in eliminating Vita. Yeah. Why go through all the trouble of containing her here until she can transport the poor louse to Everlast? It was both faster and safer to destroy her puny heart and body. You're forgetting the method. How would Leona have pulled it off? Vita surely wouldn't agree to meet her in the night. Their hatred was mutual. And due to the irritatingly squeaky door, Leona couldn't simply walk into that decrepit little co cottage. She would have had even more difficulty sneaking in through the window than Ron would. She could have threatened Vita into coming out to meet her. With her position as an esteemed royal soldier, she could blackmail any of us. Not to mention she could sneak her out letter pretending to be from someone else. How would she contact Vita? when Rislin never left her side. Dropping letters in the dead of the night, when no one can read them, doesn't sound efficient. But she must have done it earlier, or at some point when Rislin and Vita were not together. Back then, Leona didn't know about Vita's heart. I don't know what Le Leona knew. Despite Judea's shouting, Ron looks relieved. While the librarian used to provoke us and come up with wild theories, now he speaks in Leona's defense. Comrade Leona couldn't have done it, and most importantly, she wouldn't. She would never take such a dark path. True, it appears I do not need to speak for myself after all. So, Jania, why don't you try someone else? Our esteemed lawkeepers aren't the bad guys. Nay, there's nay a holy soul on the face of this earth, nor down below, truth be told. Very well, it wasn't Leona. Let's move on to Mr. Elos, then. Hold on, <laughs> I'm getting congested again. Okay. Companions, you ask me where I spent the night? I confess, I was in a storehouse, a place of shadows and cobwebs. It was empty and silent, naught remains but me and my ponderings. But lo, a young man came seeking refuge. After some hesitation, he asked to share my dwelling. It was the young Lord Kaisar. Seeing no ill in the request, I accepted. My halls all are welcome, from my wide-eyed wanderers to those who lurk in idle shadows, from righteous to malevolent. My heart was consumed by a wondrous visions from within, and sleep would not come. For hours I toiled upon my quill, bringing the glorious images to life. Meanwhile, the crow-hearted one slumbered peacefully. That much I confirm. Did you just call Kaisar a demon heart? Are you referring to Vida? What's an inferno? And let me clarify, I did not sleep peacefully. I was having nightmares. Maybe because he was painting demons right next to me. Crow-hearted, I said. A citizen of crows, not a demon slave, blessed as that might have been. Mr. Elos, were the images from your mind those of the inter Infernal Fathers? Indeed, they were guardians to protect me from the unbelievers. They say men are not born with the magic aptitude of witches, but who knows what obscure lore Elos possesses. That sounds interesting. I should like to see those drawings. Do not get ahead of yourself, Jania. You can only see them if you are allowed to walk free. You too will get your turn to speak. This old singular has spoken, and dost have thou thy my truth. I'm not convinced. I will speak with you more. Nah, I believe you, Lose. No, this guy... <sighs> Wait. What if this guy is actually the big Esmeus guy? What if that's it? I don't know. 
It, it could be. Maybe he's in disguise. I don't know. Uh, I'm just gonna stay quiet. The bard has been researching demonology and witchcraft. I know for a fact what kind of literature he likes to read. If anyone could have magically summoned Vita or lured her out of bed last night, it was him. Beg pardon? Are you forgetting we have a witch in our midst? If Elos was able to do that, he was surely not the only one. Ah, I thought Jania has a, uh, tighter alibi. You are Elos's alibi. I spent a significant amount of time asleep. Such an honor for this earthly worm to be accused of witchcraft. Oh, what will you creative younglings invent about this humble balladeer yet? And here I thought my adventuring days were over. How wrong I was, for the grandest of my voyages await me still within your imagination. Then, according to Kaiser's testimony, Elos might have ventured out during the night. So could you and your guard boy. You could be lying and covering each other's tracks for all we know. You, too, will get your turn to speak, Bane. You know by now what the majority think of your sinful union with the here-present witch. Kaisar, it is your turn. Last night, I was fast asleep in the storehouse, as Elos attested. When I woke up, he was sleeping. The first thing I did was take a walk, and that's when I saw Rizlin. Apparently, she had just found what was left of Vita. What more can I say? If I had been the one to attack Vita, she would have likely beaten me. Besides, I had no motive to do something so stupid. You had a motive. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, I'm not going to. Con I'm not going to accuse. I can confirm Kaiser was as surprised as I was by what he saw. Say nothing. Look, look. Even if he is the murderer, we're gonna. I, we gotta stick together to get out of this, right? Okay. We're. We're. Yeah. I'm gonna back him up. It was unpleasant, though not entirely <laughs> unexpected. Stop! Stop giving me the beeps, the mad look. <laughs> look, I need to, I need to team up with somebody, and I'm definitely not teaming up with Elos. And I don't know. I feel like Ron and Leona got some weird thing going on. So you know what? No, <laughs> they're not entirely unexpected. No, Leona's- she is clearly- something's going up with her. We could have faked it. Are you calling Rizlin an easily fooled idiot? No, you murdered Vita together. That's why you were both equally surprised. Ergo, not at all. I certainly don't remember conspiring- conspiring- conspiring with Rizlin, but it sounds like fun. Enough. One detail does not catch the attention. Kaiser, you are not particularly fond of Elos, yet you joined him in the storehouse. Why was that? What are you implying? Well, use the old man as an alibi. Certain you'll be able to deceive his failing senses and slip away unnoticed. Nah, he doesn't have failing senses, this guy. <laughs> Conspiraling. <laughs> you didn't want us to think you're a loser. Seeking company in his dark in this dark place is entirely rational. Yeah, I think that's that one there. I do not claim otherwise. I simply wish to hear it from Kaisar. I was aware of the fact that everyone else was teaming up. I thought the rest of you could keep each other in check, and I wanted to do the same with the old man. My understanding is as broad as the sky. Yet for you to keep me in check. Elos laughs. My son! All things have their limits. Since Kaiser has been mentioning the windows in Vita's house, I've been thinking the same. The boy, we warriors are not good at slinking through narrow passages. What about you, rat? I am not good at anything. I am a damned librarian. Is that another lie? Is he not a librarian at all? His knowledge delves too far into this old thrall's reading habits. So I fear he, he is who he claims to be. 
He is indeed. Maybe we've overestimated his skill and deceit. I don't know. He is still a suspect, though. Oh? Judea, step forth. Share with us your truth and shed light upon your innocence in this crime. Judea smiles, her eyes wide in surprise. You... you believe me? A precious child, our sweet Jania. Mr. Elos... Not to ruin your party, however, we can't simply agree she didn't do it based on her... cuteness. True. However, we can agree on her innocence when faced with a rapidly approaching hammerhead. You know nothing, skirt chasers. If anyone here blindly defends a suspicious wench, it is you, city guard. Heed my words, children. My artist's intuition rarely errs. I believe in the witch's innocence with my whole hollow heart. <laughs> he agrees. He's got an empty heart. Speak, Jania. Last evening, I gathered herbs and baked the Fernward Forest fancies. I labeled them and delivered them to your doors, as you all know. It took me a while to find you all. As the night grew darker, I found solace in the company of Vane, our valiant protector. I took one more walk to see if anything in the village had changed, still looking for our chance to escape. Alas, as you see, you're still here. And what transpired during the night? <laughs> Leona, come on! You know what happened! Why are you making the Pearl Girl have to say it out loud? We headed back to our home where I retreated to my humble corner. I remained there until dawn. I am innocent of any dark deed that befell our companion. While I possess the powers of a witch, my heart is guided by compassion and harmony. I cherish my connections with each, with each one of you, and I respect the sanctity of life. I would never wish harm upon anyone. Well, you lie, Jania. Jania appears so harmless. I believe her. Nah, she's lying. <laughs> what? What? No, oh my goddy. Come on. Jania is clearly a... She's... She's... Ow. We're gonna start tossing blame. I... I never hurt another human being. So you say. Retract your words, wench. And you, guard trash, say another word to her and I'll break your teeth. So are we not allowed to evaluate Jania as a suspect because Bane is threatening us with violence? Proceed with your questions. All are free to speak. Ugh. Why did you accuse me, Rizlin? Well, you could have lured or transported Vida out with your magic. You had the means to do it. As a witch, you must have learned much of the demon hearts and how to spot them. Even if no one told you about Vida's heart, you could have realized that is why you hunted her now. You did not retire to your corner to sleep. Everyone knows you're sleeping with Bane. <laughs> I like that one. Your little speech is clearly lies. You say you cherish us all, but you hate Kaisar. Um... That one's kind of true, too. Now we're gonna go with this one. I beg your pardon? But how is that anyone else's business? It is true that Bane and I share a special connection. Maybe you conspired together. My romance with Bane has not clouded my ju judgment. Our relationships brought strength and resilience, not a desire for turmoil. Fences, empty words, Jania. You've had the means and the manpower to execute this assassination. Everyone's defense is just words, guard boy. If someone comes out with solid evidence, we'll simply have to vote on who did it. Fine. And I vote for Jania. Comrade, it's not the time to declare our conclusions yet. Despite being half-naked, Jania doesn't have a single scratch on her body from all that herb gathering. Isn't that suspicious? Is that why you wear that bloody, ugly outfit? To hide your filthy demon skin? 
Unlike some, I am skilled at collecting what I need without getting injured. Didn't you trip and fall when we met this year yesterday? You don't see a single bruise. I never got bruised to begin with. I mind what I eat, so I remain slight. Or slim and light. Slight. Well, that works. Slim and light. Take your eyes off my body, you lecherous fiends. I must say, if you continue to reject the test, we may as well consider you a demon heart. Are you forgetting about me and the others? The majority have rejected your forsaken test. The demon hearts among you are fools. If you stepped out and confessed, at least you would be safely kept in a dungeon. Ah, as safe as a sitting duck. Bane, speak and try not to test our patience. Last night I was with Jania, exploring like before. He searched for answers. He discovered nothing but petty secrets of some long-dead milk drinkers. Then we headed back to one of the houses, as she said. So, you remained inside through the rest of the night? Bane nods. Very well. Your word shall be taken into account. May the truth prevail and justice be served. This doesn't prove anything. <laughs> it's true. It does not prove what. No, no. This proves nothing. Do you believe you can prove something about me? When I take someone down, you will know. Yeah, you are the strongest one in the group. You're the only one who could have abducted Vita from her home. No, I don't know about that one. You never told us where you live or what you do. We sh why should we trust you? I don't know about that one. You've been under the witch's spell since you met her. She enchanted you into doing <laughs> I don't know if I choose- I don't know if I want any of these, but you know what? We're just- we're gonna go with this one. What? Do you think I had Bane murder Vita? I didn't even know she was a demon heart. Uh, that's what I said. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm just making things worse. It is a possibility. I never cast any spells on him. You don't know what you're saying! We all know there is more than one way to enchant a man. With Raven Runch is talking trash. You can never understand real dedication since you keep your men on a leash. <laughs> Sorry, Ron. He's kind of right, though. What does Fickle creature like you know of love. Well, I know when someone is being used. Love? Well, this makes you the ultimate whip. <laughs> I don't keep anyone on a leash. I know when someone is being used. Why do so many fail to see? Indeed, young Janias is lovable. Her spirit feels out of an astral plane. He does strike me as a man who would do whatever Jania asked of him. No magic required. Get off my back, corrupt guard! What do you think, Kaisar? Were you present when Bane and Jania first met? I was. I didn't notice her casting any spells. I think it was more a matter of they approved of each other immediately. Rather disgusting. You see? Even the ugly librarian knows we're telling the truth. These two are each other's alibis, so perhaps we should consider them as one entity. Anyone else believe Bane and Jania are responsible for the murder? <laughs> Why are you- no, not just- okay, come on. Come on, maybe he'll turn out to be like a really good guy. Like, maybe underneath all of the scuzziness and the, <laughs> the sliminess, he's actually- oh shit, thanks. Nah, she's going nuts for that. <laughs> that husband's computer. There is but one more person to hear out, yet I am nowhere closer to reaching a conclusion. What about you, Elos? Will you take their side as you did before? Why should a dying ghost make any ex accusations? When I falter, I shall haunt the one responsible. Ron looks into my eyes doesn't invite me to speak. Perhaps he wishes me to make my own decision. Throwing accusations could be risky, but he still went ahead and did it. Before I can say anything, Leona calls my name.
Brislin, it is your turn to speak. I'm sure they already know this, but I guess I should say it again. Vita and I spent the night in the same house, like before. At least I thought we did. I fell asleep holding her hand. As we all understand, you were physically close to her. You had the opportunity to do something evil if you so wished. Tell us of your motivations then, or rather, the lack of motive to harm her. Well, um, the last thing I we talked about was how we should preserve our strength, so I did my best to fall asleep. I slept through the entire night. Vita was my friend, and her loss deeply saddens me. I could never harm her. Eh. Vita and I may have had our disagreements, but I valued her life as much as any of you. It's simple. You ordered me to watch over her so I could never hurt her and implicate myself. If you don't trust in my morality, at least believe I am not an imbecile. That's it. That's definitely it. <laughs> definitely it. I notice Ron watching me with concern. He hesitates to speak. If you were to express his trust in me, it might have the opposite effect. No one wishes to hear that he believes me without a good reason. Finally. We hear from the prime suspect. Don't call her thus. Common sense aside, even if she is not the killer, what is the point of assigning guard duty or teaming up if we end up dead either way? Kill her or not, the raven wench failed to protect her ward. That alone warrants punishment. How do you think she feels about it? Besides, your accusations are unfair. She was up against the master criminal. Yes, the red feathered assassin. Present evidence. Yes, Jania. Vita refused to eat her cookies, yet they disappeared at the same time she did. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one there. Angels. I am. Okay, so I am the prime suspect, but I didn't murder anybody. I'm just a demon heart. That's all it is. DV10, you gotta get up off my back. <laughs> so I don't know what I should do. Should I do the red, red feathered? Should I present the evidence? Or should I accuse Jania? Nah, we'll do the red feathered assassin. Let's, let's do that one. Are you watching us from the shadows? Blended. Red feathered? Is that a rude reference to my hairstyle? She refers to the murderer of a lord's immature son. Any man with the title of young must not be very accomplished. Assassin? Brislin, why? Who is the red feathered assassin? What are they? It is one of us. It was Vita. It is someone we haven't met. I don't know! <laughs> Shit! I think I got us into a corner. Oh no. It, it is one of us. Okay, let's let's just go that route. Oh my god. Could it be? But who here is skilled with a bow? Who is the vile animal who murders the kingdom's highest standing citizens? Are we to assume this assassin also murdered Vita? Judging by the tale I've heard, the assassin is but a lousy amateur. Calm yourselves. The objects we found have no real meaning or connection to the murder, and anyone could have left them there. Sure, I'll pay for this if I'm wrong, but I agree. This evidence must be irrelevant. Forget the puny coward cowardly assassin. The raven wedge is to blame. I did warn you that if either one of you girls came to harm, the other one would pay. Yet for some reason I assumed Vita would kill you, not the other way around. What are you saying? I prohibit you from... Let's teach the raven wench a lesson. The rest of you worms, if you're told to guard someone, you will do it or lose your head alongside them. No one else will lose their head today as long as law and order persevere. What is the raven wench's value? Why defend her life? Does anyone need this woman for anything other than what's sold at the docks for five coins at midnight? What? Seriously? Come on, Bane. Come on. Don't do me like that. Rosalind is a beloved townsperson and daughter for one, and she stands with friends. The world needs her, so stay away. No violence is to be dealt out without my permission. But the time has come to cast our votes. What should we do? And what will the punishment be? Hold it. There is one more person we can consult. 
Sanctity may be uncooperative, but it can't be worse than what some of you have put us through. I do not understand. Who else should or could we use as a witness? The seer. He may be a tricky creature, but we should take that chance. It would be convenient if he would simply tell us the truth. Perhaps turn it into a guessing game. He might be entertained to hear our guesses, and if he is gracious enough, tell us, tell us if we're correct. Why do you assume that a bored creature would aid us in any way? All he is set to do is humiliate and disgrace us. I am not interested in voting and giving him ideas. I want whatever information he can extract, we can extract from him. How could we reach the goat's son? If he's watching us, perhaps it's simply a matter of saying he's invited. Or, since he's not here yet, maybe yell out his name. Seer, we summon you! Show yourself at our trial! One wishes it were so simple to summon a demon spawn. How many dark hours of solitude could have been averted? He's gonna show up. He's just gonna show up. Elos, you're wrong. Alright. Oh, Sierra's point of view. What a beautiful grave. I would not have built such a disaster even for my worst enemies. <laughs> it is fortunate there is no body to protrude hauntingly out of the ground. These humans are so incompetent. They have moved on from arguing and blaming one another and are now summoning you. The nerve of these mortals. They are clueless. It's blended. I am gaining more and more faith in your forsaken participants. You've actually caught some excellent demon strumpets. Ah, this show is entirely worthy of my attention. Perhaps if you stopped underestimating, underestimating me, you would notice I do not leave my jobs half finished. Yes, yes. You'll make an excellent addition to my family. Ugh. You and I will be parting ways after this little exploit. Go to those desperate creatures. Entertain me. And hurry. Use your powers. What are you saving them for? Back at the trial. Demon strumpets, not trumpets. <laughs> yes, mortals. Why have you summoned me? He really came. Be still, my withered heart. <laughs> Fucking Elos. <laughs> Yeah, you have been spying on us, so you know full well what this all is all about. You are agitated over my beloved friend, Vita. Still, I see no cause for such a brazen act as calling out to me. I have not been too kind to you. You ought to learn that nothing good can come out of summoning a demon spawn. I use the term summoning loosely. We've exchanged our accounts. Now tell us what you know. My, my. Where did you learn these so-called interrogation tactics? <laughs> Firstly, I haven't even listened to your conversation. I care so little for your worthless hides and your little companion. Can you not sense the demon hearts? Surely you have an idea as to what might have happened. <laughs> More so than yourselves. So, you know exactly how she died. If I understand correctly, you demand that I hand over all the answers to the mystery. How ambitious of you. You could vote on the killer and you could tell us if we're correct. Don't tell us the answer if we get it wrong. It could be a fun game where you reward us for our intelligence and insight. How lovely. Why do all of your ideas involve you pathetic vagrants benefiting from my grace? Give us something. Anything. Is the murderer among us? Or was it you or another one of your master's agents? You know, had I made a bet about your mental capacities at the beginning of this cursed trial, I would have lost all my cat food. For giving me such a pleasant surprise, I will provide you with one, albeit not very useful, true answer. 
Neither I nor any of my master servants have harmed any of our captives in the past day. You could say I harmed you in the process of capturing you, but that was more than a day ago. So, Vita's murderer is present here. I would remind you not to trust infernal creatures, but a woman is dead and the murderer must be somewhere. Most likely, they stand in our company. Oh, this could indeed be fun. Still, you understand I am not supposed to help you. Perhaps I can answer one more stupid question. That is, a question that would not directly lead you to the mystery solution. But first, you have to entertain me. Show me something equally or more interesting than Ron's sudden display of intelligence. Challenge from the seer. His words cause silence in the group. <laughs> no problem, Matt Noe. I'll catch you later. Maybe tomorrow with that really, really bad game we're gonna play. <laughs> Stray Souls, is that it? If only he can come up with... If only we could come up with a way to entertain him. Okay, let me think. Take me as your slave and do with me as you please, but help the others. Oh, no, we're not doing that one. Take me as your slave and get me out of this place, I beg of you. Oh, God. No, why? <laughs> Come on. No. <laughs> BB said, no, close your eyes. Close your eyes. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. I think I'm just going to stay quiet. <laughs> I feel like going that route would be bad. Stay quiet. I have a tribute, a humble gift for you, patron. Elos produces a roll of paper from his dark cloak. Struggling to stand up, he offers it to the seer. The demon spawn looks a little surprised, but he accepts the item and unrolls the paper to take a look. As his eyes trace the gift, his hooved legs step back. His expression reveals a pleasant surprise. How did you? This old knave has good memory when it comes to matters that fascinate him. This is perfect. Now you've made me sorry for bringing you here to die. Elos cackles quietly. Mr. Elos? What did you give him? Why didn't you tell us anything? It's a perfect portrait of my likeness. Thank you. I accept this tribute, but let this be the only time you offer something of the sort. I do not wish to see everyone's ill attempts at painting me. Your bard has managed to impress me, so I will keep my word. Think well about your one insignificant question. Sir Elos, thank you for working with the rest of us. I did not do it for you. I've never shown any of my work to a blessed infernal son before. You should ask about the remaining number of demon hearts. According to the demonic message in the crypt, there were three to begin with, weren't there? Are you willing to waste your question on confirming what the mes message means? Perhaps the question should be how many demon hearts are there in the village now? After Vita's death, there should be at least two left, if not three. What are you saying? Did someone solve the magic riddle in the crypt? Yeah, someone did. It now says three, Demon Hearts, and it's impossible to move the letters. If I knew what happened to Vita's heart, that might help me solve this mystery. Did someone eat it? Was a new Demon Heart born? We should ask the seer if someone became a demon heart by eating Vita's heart. What is your point? If a new demon heart was created, then only those who were not demon hearts yesterday should be suspects. Good idea! I like that one. On second thought, it's better to ask about the exact number. No, 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 no. We're hearing and don't get this one. I may die, but you know what? It's a good question. Hmm. I don't see that how that helps us. We wish to know the number of demon hearts among us, and whether Vita's death has changed that number. Oh? Do you intend to simply keep chaining your wishes and desires? If I provide this information, will it help you slaughter one another in a more timely fashion? 
If you wanted us all dead, would you not have simply attacked us with your magic? My dear, it is not about what I want. I have a master high above my petty self, remember? Sure, your master is you, you crook. <laughs> no, what? No, I didn't! You know what? Stop pointing the finger at me! Maybe she killed herself. Stay silent. Your information will help us slaughter the demon heart, so spill it. Fine. I will give you the answer you seek. I shall make myself clear. Since you've already accomplished the task of solving my riddle, I will confirm its in intended meaning to you. Yes, this party started with exactly three demon hearts among you. I have intended you to discover my message. Additionally, the number of demon hearts in the village today is the same as it was yesterday. Silence fills the air. Does that mean someone ate the heart? Seer chuckles. Just so you know, yesterday he was running his mouth about wanting to trick us. He said he not and not you get out of the way. I guess she's done with the mice. He said he'd bring a demon heart cat to increase the number of black hearts in the village. A cat? How can it be? Yes, and he gave it a human name. I should have never spoken to you, vulgar ingrate. Miss Cornelia's Psyche is a perfectly suitable name for a cat. <laughs> really? He named his cat Miss Cornelia Psyche. Besides, your reasoning is absurd. Aren't all names human names? The only real alternative would have been to name her after an infernal father. Such words are not so easy on the tongue. Sure. Who knows what else he'll pull on us. Maybe there are more beasts or humans in secret caves around us, and he's counting them among the demon hearts. Fine. I shall go out of my way to answer your incessant questions, if that will spare me listening to your voice, worm. The demon hearts in the village are all human and all members of your wonderful party of companions that you assembled here. I have provided you with as much help as I am allowed to. Any more, and your incompetence will know no bounds. Figure out the rest yourselves. Now, unless someone has a love confession to make, I will leave you to your torment. I do. Will you marry me? <laughs> one of these days, one of these days, I am going to do that. <laughs> I'm going to do all the things like throw myself at him. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not going to do it now. I'm going to remain silent. <laughs> you nitpickers are so difficult to talk to. Now I truly am leaving. The demon spawn casts a spell and disappears in a puff of smoke. I reflect on his words. I should know better than to believe everything he says. Yet it could be true. Even so, the mystery is still unsolved. From what he said, Vita's murderer has only just become a demon heart. I need to know who the other two demon hearts are, and there aren't a lot of options. The seer spoke the truth. The killer is someone who was not a demon heart yesterday. Kaiser should know that it isn't me. If it comes to that, he could help me prove my innocence. Splendid. How a murderer lies. No one is suspicious. No one will confess, and the Blessed One's game may thus continue. There are more demon hearts to hunt down, or shall they turn on their red-hearted companions? If I were a demon heart, what might I do? Sir Elos, we still don't know if you are one. But of course not, or I'd be dancing on your graves. Clearly, our first step must be to confirm who the three demon hearts are. Four of you are yet untested, of whom only one is pure. Who are the demon hearts among you? Everyone stay silent. Bane? Jania? Rislin? We'll not cut our flesh for you. Slay us if you must. Were it that I could jail you all. When will you fools start listening? If you wish to prove your innocence, there is but one crucial thing you must do. The test of blood. Anyone who refuses to submit will be considered Vitor's murderer. Mm. What do I do? I don't know. 
No, we gotta worry about catching the killer. Could there be anyone else Kaiser figured out for a demon heart before today? He could help. On the other hand, why is Ron vouching for him? If I admit I am a demon heart, I could help speed up catching the killer, but admitting it is something I could never do. It is high time we test everyone. Or instead, whoever is not a demon heart should step forward and spill their blood, so we may end this once and for all. Over my dead body! Bane, will you stand on the side of justice? Giant, the giant is sitting right next to Janine. Ah, to Jania. I've been reading for like two hours now. My tongue's starting to get tied. Are you asking me to take hold of this woman and make her bleed? I'll have you know I've seen her bare form. She has a small injury on her thigh. <laughs> she is not the one you're after, but neither am I. Something is wrong with your theory. The old bar, the raven wench, and the rat librarian. They are your lying demon hearts. <laughs> I knew we were going to say lewd. But we don't. They're banging each other. Come on. I trust Comrade Bran completely. Kaisar is no demon heart. Jania should, no should show her wound to the rest of us. Or at least to me. Ha, so obnoxious, royal soldier. You despise being trapped here with us, don't you? give you a real reason to hate it. Anyone touches this girl, I will beat your hands to a pulp. So you'd be bet you'd better be a demon heart to heal that crap. So that's how it is. Reject the test and you are demon hearts. Glancing towards Jania, Bane asks in a more quiet tone. Should I do it? Don't! They'll just want to cut me, or strip me! You're right. These worms aren't worthy of my blood. Enough of your foolishness. Everyone who opposes us is working with the enemy. Ron, you say Rislin is to be trusted. If so, she must participate in the trial of blood. My heart pounding in my chest. I realize Leona isn't simply asking me. If I wish to do the test this time, her hands linger on the hilt of her sword. Whether it is because it's too difficult to force Bane and Jania to do it, or because she suspects me, my secret is a breath away from being revealed. Fear builds inside of me as I take quick, shallow breaths. I cannot allow this. Why is no one willing to fight those two? Jania and Bane have, any, have been anything but cooperative, and both Ron and Leona have openly suspected them. Are they so dangerous that we can't even test them? How then would we hope to apprehend them, even if they are guilty? When I try to speak in my defense, my voice comes out as a shout. Why don't you test Elos? <laughs> Bane and Jania are the killers. They are the ones you should be testing. Kaiser is the killer, and he made Ron lie for him. No. You will not touch me. You will not touch me! Brislin, come to me. Out of the corner of my eye, I see Bane rising and reaching for his hammer. Jania retreats behind him. It's the Raven Falls girl. Don't let her escape. Why would Kaisar say that? I can't even focus. Leona, stop! Ron grabs Leona's, Leona's shoulders. She quickly turns and strikes him with the flat side of her sword, knocking him off balance. I can't allow her to hurt me. It's now or never. Run away as quickly as I can. Attack Bane and Jania, hoping the others will join me. Attack Kaiser. What? <laughs> he, he just turned on me, damn it! No, 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 I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna run! That's what I do! Just run! I run as fast as my feet can carry me. I sense the start of something powerful channeling through me. Some kind of demonic energy. I would probably die. Stop it but it's immediately suppressed by the overwhelming feelings of hunger, exhaustion, and despair. <laughs> what do you mean by I do this? I run! I run! You know that's what I do! It's my thing! I hear footsteps of people following me. It feels as if every inch of my skin is burning and my heart is pounding like crazy. Someone is getting close. Too close. They clasp my arm, making me yelp in surprise. I try to push forward, but their grip is too powerful. Before I can break free, a blade slashes my back and I fall to the ground. No! What 
have you done? A pair of strong arms grab grabs me and holds me down. The wound burns. Worn for my heart, I might bleed out and die. It would take days to recover. I look up at the small crowd formed above me. I see Leona's angry eyes. She is the one holding me down. Behind her are two dark silhouettes. Damn, am I losing focus in my eyes? I feel a blade pressing against my neck. Do not move. If you are innocent, you should not have run. Don't kill her, for God's sake! Instead of responding, Leona grabs me and knocks me over on my side. She lifts my chainmail out of the way to take a look at my back, without asking for permission, as if I weren't a human being. What have you done to her? She's not a demon heart! Come on, calm down. She is. Forgive me, Rislin. I did not intend to cause such a deep wound. But you were running in much the same way criminals do. All run the same way. God damn you! Rislin! I could swear the corner of her wound twitched, as if shrinking. Did you notice that? She probably saw it right. My unnatural healing. You disappoint me. Could it really be you? How did you expect to get away with this after I tasked you with guarding Vita? So, I was right. It was our precious Rislin all along. Both the murder and the framing of the red-feathered assassin were committed by the same person, Rislin. You know what, fucker? I was gonna kiss you. You know what? That's it. <laughs> BB-10, you're right. I should've just killed him. <laughs> I should've just killed him. <laughs> she wasn't able to drag Vita's body far, but she could take a walk in the night carrying just a cloak and an arrow. She went all the way to the graveyard to make us think some struggle took place from afar. In fact, she likely stabbed Vita to death in their bedroom. When the bloodstains turned to ash, they became indistinguishable from the rest of the dirt and that horrendous shack. Rislin took the cloak from Vita herself. He saw the contents of her bags. She carried spare clothing. What about the arrow? She found it during her volunteer mission. The arrow did belong to the assassin, but that person isn't here. It was all just Rislin. It was it was just Rislin all along. It was Rislin all along, you know? Rislin. That night when you split from us, did the assassin attack you? Did you pick up that arrow? Then Rislin truly is the killer. No, she can't be the killer. She's the one who just became a demon heart. You don't need more proof than that. That is, unless Rislin was black-hearted all along, which is unlikely. Ron would surely become aware of such a fatal flaw in the woman he... She... she must have been... all along. All the circumstances indicated her as the culprit, and now we understand her motive as well. You knew I was a demon heart before Vita died. Tell them! No, I didn't. If I ever accused you of it, well, I was teasing everyone. That night, when you told me my hands were too quick, you knew it was an unnatural demonic trait. Hey, You misunderstood me. That was only me making an inappropriate request involving... Well, your hands. Thankfully, Ron arrived before I could explain it to you. I apologize for that. I wouldn't dream of making advances on you now that we've discovered what you are. <laughs> Claire and Amkarthizer, why? <laughs> Rislin, you are a suspect in the murder and under arrest for possessing an unholy heart. Looking around, Bay and Jania must have slipped away. The old crypt contains chains and shackles suitable for keeping prisoners. In regards to watching over her, we must be more competent than we were with Vita. We shall do what we can with the questionable aid of the low-life scum collected here alongside us. And if Rizzle is the killer, imprisoning her will be an efficient means to stop any further crimes. 
The old bard hobbles closer. It appears he remains sitting while Leona chased me. Locked me in. Lock me in or have me do guard duty. I will accept my fate regardless. You. Do not leave this spot, old man. I am not done with you. I will find you after we are finished with this woman. What is it, comrade? Need I remind you this woman is a murder suspect? Devote your life to guarding her if you wish, but she will not walk free. Uh, a tragedy of ages. My bookish friend, will you say nothing in defense of your would-be bride? What?! <laughs> Would be bride, Elos. Come on, we haven't even kissed yet. Oh, God, he's always already marrying us. Us, he's probably gonna walk me down the damn aisle. <laughs> I know. This delusional ball of deer must be hallucinating. I shall cast you a minor villain in my next novella, one who betrays the damsel before the magnificent demon. With Ron saying nothing, I don't know whose side he is on. What if he stands up to Leona to defend me and gets hurt? Can't they take the chance of Ron getting hurt? I'll surrender. It's not a good time to run. I'll have to bluff and give it give in to Leona for now. Okay. I'm gonna do that one. I'm bluffing. Fine. Take me to the crypt. Leona gestures for me to hand over my sword and I have to obey. Yeah, the old man is definitely insane. I kind of like him, though. The four of us walk into the graveyard, leaving Elos behind. My back still hurts, but I can manage. Leona doesn't leave my side. Ron trails behind us at a distance, and Kaiser follows closely by, often turning left or right, as if he was looking for some hidden stalker. Her shirt is drenched in blood. Besides... When she is suspended of her by her arms, her armor would be a heavy burden. Who shall undress her? <laughs> what? No! Come on! <laughs> Baby, Ted, close your eyes. Ron glares at the floor while Kaiser shrugs in the back. I suppose it's most appropriate that I do it. Don't undress me! You will be in pain for your entire stay if you remain so foolish. Stop struggling! Leona relieves me of my damaged chainmail, as well as my shirt torn at the back by her sword. The touch of wet, sticky blood leaves my skin, so at least that feels better. Now I am left shirtless, with only a strip of fabric covering my chest. Leona nudges my arms into the nearby shackles. After locking them around my wrist, she walks up the stairs. Well, at least she's at least somewhat covered. <laughs> My legs rest on the ground, but my arms are suspended in an uncomfortable position. Without my armor revealed as a demon heart and chained to a wall, I am more vulnerable than ever. She's got, she's wearing a bikini, BB-10. Do you say lewd when you go to the beach? Ron barely brings himself to look at me. His whole form is trembling. Why didn't you tell me? This is something I don't tell anyone. I didn't want you to hate me precisely because of this. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna say I'm sorry. This can't be happening. No. How could I miss it? And, and now? Kaiser claps, clasps Ron's shoulders. Come. More than ever, we have important matters to discuss. You can discuss them in front of me. The sight of you is distracting us. Ron walks away with his head hung, hung low, silent. Kaiser begins to follow him, but turns to throw one last glance at me. His expression unreadable. He agreed to be my secret ally. But it seems he's keeping his affiliation secret from even me. He left me to find comfort in his... Wait, he let me find comfort in his arms told me we'd be in this together. And now, he betrays me? I'm left alone in the Hall of the Dead, where the walls seem to close in around me. I take deep breaths, trying to calm myself. My mother told me stories about a demon spawn, the Great Thane, 
and how he was defeated and imprisoned in the south of Shermire centuries ago. It took an army to defeat him. <laughs> oh yeah, I did look for comfort in his arms. That's okay, right? <laughs> you know what? Okay, whatever. Whatever! He was also chained up at the bottom of some deep dungeon. Of course his imprisonment lasted ages. I'll be lucky if I survive about four more days. Why did they leave me alone? Exhausted from the day's struggles and the emotional toll of everything that happened, I sink into darkness. Images flood my mind. Ron standing in the pouring rain, his sword drawn, a smile playing on his lips. He thinks he knows who I am, but the truth is, there is so much he doesn't understand. Sometimes he scares me. Kaiser with his hands on me, too close for comfort. I yank and pull and try to shake him off, but I can't escape his grip. Why is he so damn strong? Because he's probably a demon heart. He's one too, I bet. My heart pounds from having him near. He's trying to lie to me again. His deceitful words echo in the air, but I don't understand a single one. If he would, if he would only kiss me, at least he'd stop talking. Stop lying. <laughs> See? Even even Rizlins just wants to kiss. <laughs> From the safety of our bedroom, Vita watches me with a smirk. She doesn't speak. Her gaze turns more haunting with each unspoken word. In the next heartbeat, I am taken to the darkness. I am still wet and cold from the rain. From the rain. From the rain. And I see them. You are still alive. <laughs> Funny. I am a demon heart. Dandy trick. Still, in the end, it didn't make much of a difference. Where am I? You are a lamb among wolves. Why am I seeing you? I linger in the back of your mind. I have been a wicked creature. Two arrows to the chest. I overdid it. I thought you were an actual soldier. If I'd known it was you, I would have aimed for your legs. Why? So you couldn't run away? Behind the dark hood, the assassin flashes me a smile of sharp fangs. Do you miss our time together? What? I know the red feathered uh, assassin? It's a nightmare. Distorted memory intertwined with my fears. I don't remember ever speaking to the red feathered assassin. The arrows did their job on me. But in a situation like that, I can never be sure if I was dead or unconscious. I am not a butt butt Ian. Stop it! <laughs> Why do I dream of that person? At night, when the assassin shot me, I actually felt safer than I do now. The archer didn't know my secret. In a way, I missed that time. I was free. I was there by my own will. I shouldn't have gone chasing after them on my own, but I believed there would be no consequences. One temporary death was the worst that could happen. But here, everyone knows my secret. Suddenly, a strange sensation creeps up my spine. I feel like someone or something is watching me from the shadows. Soon, my suspicions are confirmed when I hear a soft footsteps descending toward me. He undressed you? So this is how they're keeping you. This is the punishment. I don't know if the others are aware she's here or what she's after. Do you have something to tell me? I can tell you what happened outside, but that's not why I came. Leona asked me to keep watch. I'm not sure I'll be any good at it, though. It is madness out there. Mr. Elos admitted he is a demon heart, but he denies any involvement in Vita's murder. Leona ordered him to remain inside his gallery of paintings. She found a dagger in his bag and took it away. Bane tried to take me with him. He grabbed me and he wanted to carry me off to some place. I begged him to stop. 
In the end, he let me go, but he ran away. I wanted to stop it. I wanted him to stop it all. To stay. But he ran, even from me. I don't know what he's thinking. Maybe he is sick of everyone, and he simply wants to barricade himself somewhere and endure the seven days on his own. Ron and Leona aren't speaking to each other, and with good reason. She didn't have to nearly kill you in order to test you. And I haven't even seen that slug, that... Kaiser. I thought he was a demon heart for sure. I mean, would you even borrow a book from him? Well, I borrow a book, all right. How to be an annoying jerk. <laughs> I get a headache at the mere mention of his name. He's not a demon heart, and I would have done more than borrow a book from him. But then he accused me. <laughs> this one! Just this one. I would have done more than borrow a book, but then he. Yes! This one! Damn it! I'm pissed now. What would you do for that disgusting imposter? Ugh! I don't want to imagine. I don't know what is going on with you in your prison. I thought Ron would wish to guard you, but since he isn't speaking with Leona, he, she sent me instead. I don't think she cares. She seemed very absent. Muttered something about branding me a murderer if I failed my guard duty, and that was it. She doesn't have any real interest in preserving your life. Miss Brislin... There's no point in hiding it anymore. Tell me about your thought process when you decided to eat with Vita's heart. Oh, great. I didn't do it. Then you were a demon heart all along? In that case, as I said before, it was either Kaiser or the law officers. It's infuriating knowing... I'm warm. I had another burp. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I taste spaghetti. Damn it. It's infuriating how they are the ones passing the rules when the murderer is one of them. Thou Bane, I don't dare to oppose them. They framed you for murder for simply possessing a black heart. What Leona did to you is unforgivable. I would try to help, but there isn't much I can do. You should give it to your, your best and convince Ron to save you from that woman. With Bane gone, he is the only one who can stand up to her. Leona has the keys to your shackles, doesn't she? You should get Ron to obtain those keys any way he can. I think he is more likely to take Leona's side than mine. I actually never saw the keys. Or I don't know. Yeah, it was spaghetti forks. <laughs> That's what I had for dinner. I don't know. The sound of hooves clapping down the stairs echoes through the chamber. Oh, crap. Not, not, not Ray's. Looking for this? He rattles the key ring, ha ring hanging from his clawed hand. To shackle up a prisoner without possessing the proper keys. What an oversight by your justice-serving captor. Rather ir irresponsible, wouldn't you agree? Or was it done deliberately? Are those the keys? That bitch! <laughs> yeah! Leona, she wasn't even thinking of the possibility of releasing me. No, that bitch. They were doing that one. <laughs> Indeed. I seized these keys before any of you arrived. In doing so, I assumed I had eliminated the possibility of everyone simply shackling themselves to the walls for seven days. Those chains were supposed to be decoration only. Alas, you mortals keep finding new ways to abuse my well-regulated playground. It is possible Leona never intended to let you go, but fear not. When there's a will, there's a way. Hmm? When the entire royal army arrives to arrest you, they could simply sever your thumbs. You might lose so much blood that you fall into a slumber, and by the time you wake up, your hands will be whole again. Not that you actually need thumbs in the dungeons of Everlast. In fact, you could use this method to set yourself free right now. No thank you. Oh, go back to help. And who would help me remove them? Is this your idea of helpful advice? Have you, you have to admit, my advice is perfectly rational and therefore helpful. Or it would be if you had the guts to go through with it. My master is gracious enough that he has instructed me to tell you this. Once your captor, Leona, agrees to release you, or dies, I shall generously share these keys with whomever is willing to use them. We have decided to do this to make this challenge more fair to you, although one might say we've made it unfair to Leona. 
If this was her carefully executed tactic to trap you forever, we'd be ruining her master plan. But to Inferno with it. You are a demon strumpet, as some would say, so we'll turn the odds slightly in your favor. That was all I came to say. Gaze at the precious keys and hope this is not the last time you see them. So Leona didn't even have the keys? That is bad. Thanks to the Seer's deal, you could still see get Ron to help you. Make Leona agree to release you, or... Think about it. I brought myself a book to pass the, the time. I had it in my bag when I was kidnapped. Strangely, I haven't come upon any books here. We do have the epitaphs up in the graveyard to confirm we're in Shermire, I guess. Oh, and this is for you. Jania holds out a crimson apple. I found some good fruit. Would you like me to feed you? Yes, if it would, you would be so kind. No, stay away. I don't feel like eating. Nah, just feed me. Jania approaches me with gentle grace. She produces a knife from her bag and cuts a slice of the apple. My chains clink as I reach forward to take the piece of fruit in my mouth. The apple's sweet juice runs down my dry throat, quenching a thirst I had almost forgotten. Jania watches me with care and compassion as she feeds me another slice. It's not much, but I hope it helps you. I didn't have time to hunt or bake. The day has been, well... You know what it's been like. I know. Thank you. Tell me if you need anything else. Tania sits down on the stairs with her book. Moments turn into what feel like a couple of hours. Putting her book away, Jania stretches and rises to her feet. It's been a long day. We both got up so early, and I haven't had a moment's rest. It's getting late. This wasn't so well planned. If someone is to guard you at all times, one person would have to be awake the whole night. We don't, when we've all been awake all day long. I'm afraid I won't be, be much good if I fall asleep here. I might even become another victim. I'll try to stay awake a little longer in hopes that someone will come to replace me. A while later, Jania gets up again. Then I have to go. I need to retreat to a safe place to rest. I tried. Oh, I'll try to. I shall. Oh, I shall. No, no, I'm starting to get tired. I shall try to find Ron and bring him over, okay? But I'm not sure where he's staying. He is surely not with Leona this time. Alright, go. Don't call Ron. I'll be fine. Fine, but if something happens to me, you're the guard who failed. <laughs> Great. Um, no, it's fine. Don't call him. I'll be fine. With the sounds of Jania's footsteps fading in the distance, feelings of despair come back to me. The cold stone wall at my back offers no solace. My arms strain, forced to remain upright, and by the hard shackles. I am imprisoned in a realm where time itself seems to have lost its way. I blankly gaze at the words written in red light. Three demon hearts. Are the other two my enemies? Or is it someone else? The night drags on in silence, until I hear an eerie rustling in the dark hallway. My heart quickens as I realize someone is approaching. He emerges from the shadows, walking toward me with confident, almost casual steps, a tall, lean figure in a fancy suit, though there is nothing noble about him. This time, he has come alone. It's the middle of the night, and your little guard abandoned her post. Tsk, tsk. Where are your faithful guardians now, Bertie? They decided to evaporate and do me a favor, favor, hmm? As soon as he learned your secret, Ron abandoned you. Meanwhile, the dear but useless Vita is fertilizing the forest herbs. You ended up alone as I thought you would, as you were always meant to be. He advances toward me. I tried to avoid him, but the chains don't let me move far. He slides his hand underneath my chin, bringing my face up to examine me. Kaiser's fingers stroke my neck as his other hand reaches down and pulls out a glinting dagger. Great. It's gonna finish me off? The weapon's cold tip brushes against my throat as Kaiser's icy gray eyes watch me intently. 
I wonder, what would happen if in the morning Leona found a bucket full of soot and dust instead of your delightful body? That would surely earn us another half-hearted sorry from her, don't you think? He glides the blade toward my chest in a deliberately intimate caress, with his tongue hanging out. Ugh, okay, fine. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, tongue hanging out, breathing loudly, he quivers in anticipation. Such a delightful treat, left here for the taking. Well, he's talking about eating my demon heart, I'm pretty sure. His shifty eyes roam down my body, taking in my every feature without a hint of shame. Perhaps he thinks the dead are not owed an apology. Seer's point of view. I, is this chapter not over yet? <laughs> the third midnight. Three days have passed and a surprising number of them are still alive. But clearly a bloodbath is right around the corner. Soon, our mortal slaves will make up for all those missed opportunities to kill. This might even be a night of multiple murders. And if not, well, it is a flaw in your design, Master. I did all the convincing you asked of me, and these humans are deliciously wicked. The slaves I acquired are perfectly suitable, after all. The young city guard has started looking at everyone with death in his eyes. Imagine his berserker rage once his beloved is slain. And look at that insufferable slug of a librarian. <laughs> Your future best friend, I take it. You can mentor him in ways of the demon hearts, and the two of you can share pathetic stories of your inexperience with women until the one of until one of you dies a virgin. Oh my god. I am not a virgin, Esmius, and neither can I die. I'm sorry to break it down to you, but after your inexplicable decades of abstinence. Your meager experience counts for nothing. Salt my choices at will, but you don't put me in the same category as that man. Even I have standards. I hope they quarter that demented underdog. Speaking of which, you may wish to grant Rizlin a mercy killing, hmm? Your new friend has reached her. Advising me to break your own rules? You seek to rob me of my prize. I was only teasing you. Hmm. Whatever he intends to do with her, I will be eager for watching. Don't remove your loincloth yet. She'll get out of it unscathed. If the years have taught me anything, it is to be a it is to beware a tied up demon heart. <laughs> a chain demon heart versus an army power an armed power hungry psychopath? I wonder who will win. No! <laughs> What's with us, Jay? 